Welcome back, everybody. Now we're playing Slime Rancher. Did it auto propagate? It did. Now we're back with Slime Rancher, something completely different and with significantly less narration than Night in the Woods, of which we saw before. So that is what we were going to do. I'm going to play some more Slime Rancher. I'll admit, the first night I really wasn't paying attention to what was going on, and I probably will not pay attention again. This is one of those games I feel, it feels similar to Minecraft to me. In the sense where, I don't really feel like I gotta think about what's going on on the screen. For the most part, for the most part. Like, things just kind of happen, and we're all just existing. And I think that's a really great metaphor for life. Like, do we really have to worry about what kind of plorts we're collecting, or what kind of slimes are getting their way into our on our little ranch over here? Do we really have to think more than we're trying not to screw up the entire plantation? I don't think we do. I don't, think we do. I don't think it has to be any more complicated than that. It should be just simple, easy living. Victor Humphreys. If possible, please acquire the following for a future study. My thanks. Your thanks and everything else. My Your thanks and my stuff. I'm just going to give you some slime. I'm going to collect slimes for you. I'm going to collect slimes for you. And then I'll, you, I'll gi you give me stuff? I want stuff. I'm going to get stuff. But first, uh, Pogo Fruit. Uh, let's see Pogo fruit should be in an area with slimes that eat fruit, like the rock slimes. Um, can I get you double walls? Double walls? That needs 330. I'm just gonna throw fruits in there, because I think the rock slimes eat fruit. I think, maybe, I don't remember. Here, eat some carrots. Eat those carrots. You like carrots? Eat those carrots. There's no wrong answers here. There are no wrong answers. There are no wrong answers, just wrong slimes, like tars. They're bad, they're, they're wrong slimes. Can I have some plorts? Me, I have your plorts now. I'm gonna take your plorts now. I can't wait to get the one upgrade that just auto collects the plorts for me. Total game changer. Absolute total game changer. It completely changed the game. That's why it's called a game changer. It's just, it's just wonderful. Absolutely love it. Wait, did you need pink slimes? You need pink slimes. Come back, everybody. I'm collecting at least a few of you. Mmm, fine. There we go. Love how it, in this game, you just everything can be converted to energy. Just pure energy. I mean, that's the same way in, in Minecraft, too. I feel like this and Minecraft have a lot in common. For me, for me. Not, like, the games themselves have nothing in common. I, I don't think. Aside from, like... No, not really. I, I really can't think of anything. Wait, there's a slime in there? How'd you get in there? How'd you, 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 get, you get in there? What you getting there? Stupid, stupid slime. Give, give me the plots. Give me the plots. Give me the plots. Take the pogo fruits. Get some, get some high walls over here. What you getting here? It's because I didn't have high walls. I need high walls. If I want that, I need high walls. I want some rock slimes? Um, can't get fossil slimes yet because I need the night sky. What are you doing? What are you doing? How'd you do that? Get back in your cage, you asshole! Yeah, get back in there. Absolutely no respect for the farmer. Absolutely no respect at all. Truly unfortunate. We need the, the plots. How will I discipline you, slimes? I'm gonna teach you what it means to be human. And your consequence, the actual torture part of it, will be when you start to consider what it means to be human in your slime form. You'll be all confused. You'll be like, but I'm slime, but I've also been raised to think that I'm human. And it'll be a very, very important plot point for the seasons going forward. But that will be your erupted. Nope, give me the. Yep, don't want you. And that will be your suffering. Your biggest curse, like the curse of being human, is the ability to consider your humanity in slime form. So that contradiction alone will be torture enough for you and your slime kin. And this sh this show has now become this slime rancher. This game has now become one of my favorite types of animes, the ones that make you think. I love animes that make you think. Why are there so many plots over here? Oh, I guess I missed all the good goods. Nope, get out of here. Missed all the good goods. Missed all the good goods! Oh, I'll just take your plorts down. It's fine. I'll just take your plorts and we'll just move on with our existences. Oh, phosphor slime. Hey, come here. Hey, you? Yeah, come here. Yes! Softly glowing heralds of starlight. I see a rock slime over there. I want you. Come here. Mmm, more plot. Ooh, okay. Got some, got some baddies. That's okay. We don't, we don't care about you. I didn't. I mean, I mean, I care about you, but only in like the most hands-off way. Like I care, but also don't touch me. 
Like, I hope you have a good time. I don't have any water on me or else I could fix this problem. Oh, there's water right there. But hey, I don't really. I don't need it. Oh, hey, look. Rock slimey. Rock slimu. Oh, you are just so pleasant over there. You. Ooh. Oh, baby. You are pleasant. Let's continue forward a little bit. I know there were some other guys over here. Probably not super important. But, uh, but I need more. I need more steams. Need more slimus. Anybody down here? Hello? Oh. 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 Why, hello there. Phosphor Gordo? I don't have any food for you. You like fruit? Well, I will take track of your location. How do I open the map? Is there a way to open the map? Nope. How about... No. No, come back. No, I want you back. I want you back. How do I open the... Is there a way to see the map? Oh, okay, okay. I almost got... Nope. Uh, yeah, there's a map. Can I place, like, a marker? Can I... Can I do that? Uh... Up like that. Can I plus in and plus out? Plus in and plus out. Okay. Can I put down a... Nope. Maybe, maybe put it down like a marker to remember where the hell I am. Button. 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 Nope. How about... How about... Button. Button. No? Mm -hmm. Alright. No markers then. Well... Oh, what is... Whoa. Treasure pod is locked. Treasure pod? That was a treasure pod. I don't know. Well, I will... Attempt to store you in my memory banks and promptly forget about you until it becomes relevant. If I'm being completely honest here. Eventually I will stumble back upon here and be like, Huh. I found you. What is what is dangerous over here? Oh, y'all are dangerous. Okay, well maybe I don't want to play with y'all. Not like that at least. How do I get back up? I want to get back up. How do I get down here to begin with? Can I swim? I don't think I can swim. Let's go, go around here. It's all. Let's try not to be dangerous. And well, I'm uh, moving right along. Can I go up? No. So let's... Oh, don't touch me like that. Did not give you my permission for that. Okay, I guess we're... Guess we're running. Guess we're running. Guess we're... You're just... You're just gonna keep on going. Just completely ignore everything else going on here. You requires a slime key. I don't have a slime key. Treasure pot is locked. That's unfortunate. Just like the last one. I found a bridge. Bridges are cool. This one seems structurally stable enough. And uh, that's what we're about. That's what I was always taught in engineering school. So long as it's good enough, then you're fine. Oh, wow. Look at all that madness down there. And then that beautiful. Uh, yeah, well, have fun, everybody. I'm gonna go look for more phosphor slimes. Hopefully, where there's not an absolute mess going on. Pot potentially. Potentially. Oh, more floats. Yeah, back to you guys again. Wow, you are just all transformed now. Very happy to hear it. Tar slime. Slimes, meat, food, humans. Oh. You exploded. How did you do that? No, 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 come back. Come back. No! How did you do that? Get out of here! I want my phosphorus slime back! Come here. Get get out of here. Get it. Get. Oh, can I just do that? Did that work? Oh no! The other guy died. That is extremely unfortunate, but I can't express the proper emotions right now, because I'm too busy being stimulated by other stimuli that aren't the rock slimes the tars specifically oh well guess i can't get y'all i can't properly respond because i'm too distracted by other things like more slimes slimes are okay <gasps> more phos speaking of slimes i want to know it's mine it's phosphorus come, come here into my device be absorbed come hither please 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 Thank you. Please and thank you. Now you are mine. And we're happy that you're here. Here at Cameron's farm, for lack of any better term, um, things happen. Things happen like, like, like this. You want to go for a ride? Want to go for a ride, buddy? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Way off in the distance. Say goodbye to your friends. They're all gone. I need eight of them. I don't have eight. I need four of these guys, but I got one. I got plorts. Plorts are good, I've been told. I've been told plorts are pretty good. Uh, it gives me money. 26, supposedly, for these. It's wonderful. That's a large amount of monies. I yearn for the plorts that are most prevalent, most available. We like those around here. So now that I've got this, I could add solar shield and mm, we'll see i want a place for the phosphor slimes so i could put the solar shield in here that or i just wait until i get over here and it's a cave 
If I unlock the key, that's probably fine. Activate. Uh, it's a lot of money that I don't have. So I should really focus on the slimes that don't have that right now. Like putting a cap on this guy. You can air net so you don't fly away. Get all up in everybody else's grills. Could use another air net. Let's go find the rock slimes. But I need more phosphor slimes. So we're going to do that first. I like that. Phosphor slimes are... Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. What to consider next? Just more plorts. More plorts. More things to feed. Feed more slimes. Oh, you little tabby over here. You little tabby. That's cool. Tabbies are cool. But you... You're in my way. You're in my way. I have to send you flying. I have to send you away. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have to send you away, little, little slimes. <laughs> Excuse me. Or don't. You don't have to excuse anybody. <gasps> yeah, good times. <laughs> yes. Oh, where'd the third one go? I thought there was a number three. Number three? Where are you, number three? I thought I saw you, number three. Fine, I'll move on. Oh, look, the tars are gone. I hope no phosphor slimes pop out of the ground and scare me. That'd be really unfortunate. Tempting fate, anybody? <gasps> it's a rock slime. It's close enough. <gasps> Look at all. Look at them all. Look at all the happies. Is that another one? It, maybe. Another one. More, 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 more. And I need at least one more rock slime if I can find one. There you are. Come here, little one. And actually, I'd like more. Where did you? Oh, I got you. I got you. There's no running now. I'd like to find some more if I can. So I can get more rock slimes. That'd be nice. But um, I suppose... I'll just come back in the morning. I'll come back in the morning. I'll go deposit my friends. Give them to the people who need them. Or the people who just, for any other reason, want them. Perhaps for experimentation purposes. Perhaps for... Other purposes. I'm not very sure. But you, you, get, what you, you get what you can from that. I don't need... Why, why do I have you guys? I don't need y'all. Just, just enjoy yourselves over here. Be young, wild, and free. Oh. I could go up there if I had the rocket boots, but I don't have the rocket boots. That will be another endeavor to obtain the boots of rocketness. Or double jump... I, I don't know what they're called, but they're probably necessary. I should also look for actual meat. Like, actual wildlife, so I can restock this over here. I got plenty of cute fruits, though. Mmm. Fruits of the cube. Oh, I had the perfect amount. That's wonderful. That's just wonderful. Well, everybody's got a piece now. You like that? I like that. Let's uh, let's start hanging with them hen hens. Press to activate. Activate? Spring grass attracts scuttle bug that chickens love to eat. With their bellies full, hens will produce eggs twice as fast. Ooh, ooh, vitamizer. Poultry tech. Bathe the chicken in vita rays. They grow into healthy hens and roosters faster. Well, let's just let's just put a couple of you guys in there for now. I think you'll stay there, right? Will you stay? Unless I, I think you'll probably stay until somebody comes by and gobbles you right up. Or otherwise decides to murder you or further process you in some ways. Like hen hen nuggets. You will be feed for the humans. Or whatever race we are around here. I don't I don't exactly know what type of creature we are on this earth. Or on this far, far planet. I know this is a... It's a far, far range because it's far, far away from the homeland. Which may be for humans, but also maybe not. I'm not really sure. Anyway, we got a ton of cube berries over here. Oh, y'all are hungry. You want, want food? You eat meat, though. Can't can't help you there. I'm waiting for when I... I'm waiting for when I got some... Some fruit eaters. Like the rock slimes. Y'all need food, though. Uh, I'll go searching for that for you. I will go off and do that for you. Yes, that is that is what I shall accomplish. I shall accomplish that until I find something else to talk about. What about that tree? Trees are cool. Trees are very wonderful things. Rocks are also absolutely wonderful things. But you know what else is wonderful? The fact that I have been able to, in recent days, to be able to do... I was saying that I was able to video edit before. I have never had... Uh, not never. But in recent years, I have not had the chance to do any sort of, like, video editing and stuff. I feel... I feel that I have, like, personally improved upon things. Whoa, what just, what just rumbled? That was weird. 
Anyway, I feel that I have almost personally improved upon things, which which of course improves us as a whole. Uh, attempting to do like the the community thing around here, but that's that's what we're attempting to go for. I'm, I'm working on that. But so by increasing the, I feel like the the level of production is slowly but surely going up just a little bit. And even if it's not, like I'm just having fun being able to do uh, more things aside from just sitting here in front of the camera. Like, things feel almost a little more personal, for me at least. Now I get to... Previously, what I had just done was I would take the 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 regular Twitch export feature from whatever um, backups get done here. I just port them straight to YouTube, schedule them up, and then they would just get released, you know, like 24 hours later and whatnot. But uh, now, like... But a thought occurred to me. And I was like, you know what's really not interesting? Sitting there for five minutes and just kind of watch waiting for the show to start like maybe that's a thing that works like on a lot in a live setting like this however it to, at least for me i'm speaking only on behalf of my own experiences because i don't really necessarily have the feedback from uh, from others on that but i don't really like like if i'm gonna tune in like i want to get like right into the action or at least as close enough to the action as possible without missing any content in the beginning and so that's what I like uh, attempted to do with I to cut out most of the beginning now because like I don't then doesn't need to be on YouTube at all. It doesn't need to be there because that's that's not really entertaining. I mean, don't get me wrong. For here it's not entertaining either. And I'm certainly not underselling like the thrill of being able to live stream. However, that serves a different purpose here on the live stream than it does on the video after the fact because I know at least for Twitch notifications, they don't go out immediately. If I were to say, start up the quote-unquote action, if there is even action to be described here, immediately, then there might be people who don't get the notification fast enough, and then they'll be missing things, and I would consider that to be my fault. Like, I don't want people to miss it if it's something that I can control. For example, like, having a proper live notification that goes up to, to make sure that everybody's getting, like, kind of the right idea what's going on because when i'm sitting there on my phone and I, I follow people as well obviously but when i'm sitting there and i see somebody else go live i'm like okay um i wonder what it is that you're playing and don't get me wrong i totally could do you eat oh you eat vegetables i was totally wrong about you guys oh let me let me take care of that for you that's really unfortunate you eat vegetables i'm so sorry i'm so sorry guys i'm gonna fix that for you i'm gonna I'm fix that for you so you need fruits. I'll take the fruits and I'll go... I will go feed that one pink slime. That's what I'll do. I'll feed that pink slime. That's what I'll do. But so like... um, Oh god, what was I saying? But like the go live notification, right? I'm sitting there on my phone. Something pops up when one of my buddies starts streaming or somebody that, that follows starts streaming. And I'm like, I have a choice to make here. Do I click? Or do I don't click? Because if, if I'm sitting there at my computer, if I'm sitting right here at my computer, I'll, I won't click on it. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna throw you up on my screen and just you, if, give it give the tab i would donate donate the tab because i feel like it's almost like it's like a duty for us all to stick together a little bit to make sure everybody's getting the support that they need i'll lurk i'll lurk i'll lurk in your chat to make sure that you like you know you got, you got people there because uh, apparently i was reading an article the other day apparently the more viewers you have the more favored you are by the algorithm this that the other thing it's not really what matters to me but like for the people out there who are, are a little like myself and they may be like, I, I almost almost feel bad when there isn't enough numbers up there. And sometimes, sometimes that me, I get a little, I get a little anxious about that. I'm like, oh my god, am I not doing something right? And at least after a certain number of quote unquote viewers, or they, I have mine all turned off. That's my way of coping with that particular type of anxiety. I, I just don't look at and see what the numbers are, so that I don't get distracted by it. And that works for some, but that would may may drive others just absolutely nuts and i completely understand that but that's my way of coping with it but when the, that go live notification goes up i try to put a little thing in there that says like what it is that we've got going on here and, and for some reason too i have no idea why this is sometimes the go live notification gets sent out multiple times per stream i don't know who facilitates that or whose idea that was but that's just kind of annoying i mean for me as well I mean, I, I guess it's not super annoying as the creator. I mean, I'll get a buzz on my phone and it'll be like, oh, would you like to manage your channel now? And I'm like, 
I've been managing it for the past four hours. I don't... What? Yeah, I, I, I'd love to, but I don't need to do it again. I get very confused about that. And the same thing, too. Like, I, I, I gotta wonder where somebody on the receiving end is on that. Like, oh, they're streaming uh, again? Like, oh, I mean, I guess I'll, guess I'll pop in this time. I suppose, like, it serves a certain purpose as well. Though, that purpose doesn't seem as, as, um, as, like, substantiated, I guess? Substantiated as something, something like the starting soon. Where, like, if you really wanted to see, like, all of a sudden Slime Rancher popped up on your stream, you're like, oh my god, I really want to watch Slime Rancher. Like, I want you to miss any, or want to miss any piece of the action. If you're clicking on the YouTube video, I assume you're not gonna miss the action once you start the video. And if you did, you can just go back. I suppose you could also do that on Twitch as well with the VODs after the fact, but I've never really played around with that, and I like to keep myself ignorant for that to make sure that the quality elsewhere is at least something that I can be proud of. Something that kind of the creator the, the creator can be like, yeah, I'm really, I'm really, really happy with this. Right, Y'all can eat some, you want, want some hens? I don't know, I'm afraid to take too many hens away. I'm gonna take some hens. All y'all? All y'all my hens now. I feed my guys. Feed my guys with the hens. Come in here. As long as I leave what? Like, I guess one of y'all and a rooster, then we'll be fine. A, a rooster, rooster. I, I know what you're called. I know what hen hens are. I know the hen hens. Eat, consume, eat your cheekons. Enjoy yourselves. And rock slimes. Uh, wait. Oh, I watch the holidays pogo fruits. So eat, eat that, eat that. Mmm, tasty, tasty pogo fruit. Yum, 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 yum. Pogo fruit. But something like that has been uh, rather enjoyable. The kind of the nuances of making sure I get that title accuracy, game accuracy, just making sure the things are accurate. I don't want to be like misleading anybody because I, and my reason for that is I would feel kind of like gypped if I was misled by something. And it, it's happened before. And it, uh, nobody, obviously nobody in particular, but like I'll happen to notice it sometimes where I like, pop into somewhere and it was like, oh, this, this guy's playing a game I really like. And maybe they've swift, switched already. I'm like, oh, well, huh. I really wanted to watch this game, and you know, I might I might go out, like I might head out of there because it's not what I was expecting it to be. So uh, I guess that would that, that might help there. That and even for something I used to love doing when I was younger was image editing. I remember I think the first time I found I, uh, there was one day when I was a lot younger in high school, and I realized you know what, Get, uh, uh, Microsoft Paint just doesn't cut it for me. I don't like what i i can't do what i want to do with microsoft paint so what do i do and so i looked for some other program that was free to use and i found gimp which is the uh, gnu image manipulation program gnu standing for gnu is not linux or gnu is not unix it's a, it's a funny little acronym like that where the acronym just means the acronym which means the acronym which means that anyway it's fun like that but so i've been using gimp for a long time now and what I would used to do in high school is I would, or not even high school. No, this was back in like middle school. Actually, I should preface this. This goes back to elementary school. Or maybe it did only happen in middle school. I'm, I'm going to stick with middle school for now. That's what I'm going to go with. Middle school. After this. I'm working on a new recipe. You want to help me out? Sure, pal. What do you got? Q berries and that? I, I can get that for you. Yeah, I can do that. Um, hmm. Back in, let's just say, element, uh, middle school. What I used to do is, I took a, I took a computer, ah, this is where it all started. I took a computer class. And this is something that everybody had to take, because they needed to teach you how to type in the world of computers, and I'm glad that I do. I can type, like, super pay. Not super duper fast, but, like, super fast. I like that. But so they also taught you how to use, like, Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel, and most importantly for me, Microsoft Publisher. For some reason, I loved using Microsoft Publisher as my go-to program for creating little, little, little dudes. Little dudes. I literally called them little dudes. They're cute little things. And I wish I had a picture to put up on screen. Maybe I'll do that next time if somebody reminds me about that. But I used to make those little, 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 little dudes. The little cubes that had arms and legs and little ears. They were so, they were so, they were so me at the time. I'd say they were cute, but cute, I mean, not in like a patronizing manner. But at the time, they were so me, which is why I did them. And I would make them in Microsoft Publisher, and I'd put them into Word, and I'd print them out on sheets of paper and just kind of give them to people. Originally, I think I was actually selling them to people for, like, 10 cents a piece, which was cool up until the point where the teachers were just like, yo, you really, 
you really can't be doing this. Like, you, you can't be selling this stuff to your students and whatnot, and sometimes attempting to sell them to the faculty members. It was when I attempted to sell it to the faculty members when they finally caught on that this kid was running his little underground, like, paper business, just kind of printing things out. And don't get me wrong, nowadays, I pay people for their arts. I pay people for their prints, so I don't know if there was anything really wrong with it, aside from the fact that maybe they just weren't the right quality to be selling on the middle school campus. But you know what? I did it anyway, and I had a good time with it. But I made these little dudes in Publisher, and that was my that was my place for creating, like, doodles that weren't hand-drawn. I couldn't doodle. I would usually doodle a lot back then on paper with, like, pen and paper and whatnot. I really couldn't doodle in computer class because, like, the teacher's gonna tell when he comes walking around whether or not I'm actually typing on my keyboard, one by the sound and one by the fact like, Cameron, why aren't your hands on your keyboard? Like, drawing a picture over here. Why, what's it to you? But, oh my God, look at all this down here. Hey, y'all. Oh, so cute. No, I want the... Okay, thanks for taking that from me. It was very disrespectful, but it's fine. Crate, crate, like crate, crate. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I made those, I made those little publisher guys. I love them. They were called little dudes. And eventually I made a ton more of them, but that's beside the point. Anyway, there were still things that I could, there were, there were things in Microsoft Paint that couldn't scratch that itch that I had wanted at the time. There were things that weren't available to me in Microsoft Publisher. If I wanted something made of, like, what are you doing out here? You asshole. What are you doing out here? Here, take these carrots. Take, take these carrots. Take those carrots and then take that over there. What are you doing out here? You've escaped your quarantine, how dare you? Get back in there. I don't know how you got over here. Anyway. Uh, there were things that I couldn't do in those programs that I wanted to do. So how do you fix this? How do you, how do you fix that issue? Well, you find a different program to use. One of those programs that I would use is GIMP. And I still use GIMP nowadays. As I have begun to attempt to kind of go along the path of how do I become more proud of the content that we put out there, I realized one of the things that I hadn't done was, first of all, like I would leave the ad, I, I would leave the breaks and I would leave the beginnings in the videos that would go up afterwards. And I was like, something did not rub me right about that. I was like, I don't, I, I, fe I feel lazy doing this. I feel like I'm a lazy, lazy bum because this is what I am doing. And, I, and I'm doing it because like, it was, just, it was just easy and I had no reason not to. I mean, it was really easy to do and I didn't really care too much about the stuff that ends up over there because that's not like my main thing to do. It's not necessary. I realized that it came to the realization, it's not really about what is the main Thing for you to do it's it's kind of like this is something that i really want to be proud of no matter what project i work on there are some times where it comes out the other end and it is not something that i am proud of i like i turn to the project and i'm like yeah it's gonna get an a but like it's not me and that was something i really took to heart when i was a lot younger and then entered into college and it became less of an issue because it was about meeting those deadlines and getting the grades that's important because if i don't get the grades i don't get to get to the next class and i don't pass and that's not fun I had a little more time in, excuse me, the un the younger years to be able to focus on that stuff and really put a piece of myself into whatever projects that I do. And I personally think that everybody has, like, everybody should be able to do that. Like, it kind of sucks when you're put in a scenario with a deadline that's really hard to meet or you were told about it too soon where you're not able to, first of all, put, in, put your best foot forward, but also not be able to put a piece of yourself into it. Like, this is... I don't, I don't think it matters what you're doing. Like, if this is your piece of code, you can put a little comment in there saying that it's yours. If it's a, a book that you write, you're the author, you better put it on there or put your uh, alias on there. A piece of art, maybe you can sign it or something or a little digital signature with your name on it on the back. Um, I, I feel like, I, in my opinion, you owe it to yourself as an artist to do that. So that whoever comes next, like, for all you know... Um, and this is probably a little, like, too specific, right? You, you've you made a piece of art, and it just gets whoosh, washed to the wind. It gets taken away by the wind, and it just begun, begins a life of its own. Now it's kind of going all around. It's floating around through the air, and it's out of your hands. Now, you want... It gets into the hands of somebody who has no idea what it is, and it affects them in such a way that, like, wow, serendipity has brought this upon me. I want to know who I can thank for this. Aside from, you know... The forces that be to bring it into my hand but who put this piece of art on this earth i want to be able to share that i want to be able to thank them for that and i mean i feel like the grat but i you would owe it to whoever finds it owe them the opportunity to open the conversation 
and allow that art a I, I really I've always been attached to this idea of anything an artist puts out there you it becomes it kind of begins a life of its own that like that concept to me is like really really cool because once you put that out there it's not for you to decide what happens to it next it's for the people to decide maybe you intended it to be one thing but then down the line it becomes something completely different because people interpret it a very different way but i think I, I guess the most heated example of this was I mean, in my earlier years seeing Pepe the Frog on the internet and thinking like, haha, funny, funny meme on the internet. This is funny to me. It is a meme. It just, it is just funny and a little esoteric for me and rather abstract. And then all of a sudden, a couple of years ago, everyone being like, uh oh, Pepe the Frog is now a, a, a hate symbol or for whatever reason. And I don't really feel like getting into it. But like seeing that on the screen was just like, wow. It's so interesting that like, the, I, I'm sure the original, I mean, I don't really know the original artist. I've never read the comics where Pepe the Frog was from, right? But I'm not sure if the artist intended it for it to come across as that reason, as, as that thing, like that message to give to the rest of the world. I have no idea. Maybe it was. Maybe that was exactly what they were intending it to be. And it just, lo and behold, it just took a while for it to happen. In that case, good for the artist. You got what you want. That's, that's good. We like it. We like to see things, people getting what they want. But to me, that's like, I don't think that's something that you can really, like, predict. And it's really interesting when it, it does that. It's just, it's a whole, it's a whole concept of what happens to your stuff when it finally gets unleashed to the world. Finally, when it's not under your control. And I think, I think of it very much kind of like rearing a child. Not that I would have any experience. I do not have any children. Not yet, at least. But once your child, like, grows up and they go out into the world, if you ever let them go out into the world... I hope, I hope, if they can, if they can, like, if not, then, like, you know, you don't, I don't think you should force your kid out of the home if they're not ready to go yet, like, tough love is a thing, but tough love ain't my love, but if you, once that, that thing that you created, that, that thing that came out of you and was created, or, or you were raised, goes out into the world, they become and make a, a, a vision of themselves that is seen by other people that only exists in other people's minds that you had no direct control over. And that's a really, it's like, a, it's a scary thought, but, like, it's a really cool thought, too. The fact that, yeah, you know, something like that even happens. Something like, something that you thought you had full control over. Uh, something that you, you molded from the ground up. Something that was totally yours for a while becomes someone else's because it just doesn't exist that way. It's just, I don't know, the, the concept is very, very cool to me. Why do I have phosphor slimes? I really don't need phosphor slimes but there's only one phosphor plort there so i don't really need it oh but there's two now so mm, let me go over there i need money right about now give me the money give me the phosphor oh did, did another one disappear unfortunate very unfortunate here but i can get no i can't actually here eat this eat this eat eat this hen eat that hen fine don't eat the hen it's okay i'll let you you let you do your thing and I'm sure there's a word for it out there. I am sure the word, whatever word means, like the idea that you were thinking of, thinking about how something functions in the world after it has been completely detached from its creator, whether that be a piece of art or a report or a project or numbers that were created from an experiment or a young person, that stuff like that, that, that thought gets me. That stuff gets me on a very, like, mental level. Like, wow, that is, that is interesting to think about. And I can relate to it on a personal level. Like, previously, I don't think anything that I ever actually did was put out into the world until, like, I started making, like, more reports for school and whatnot and doing a lot of this code work for my undergrad and grad classes and whatnot that I would put out on GitHub for... I just... My, my thought was, hey, this served me really well... It'd be really cool if it was able to serve somebody else well as as well because it you know maybe it can help you someday maybe what i had put out there was and it, it doesn't have to be a piece of code maybe it's a piece of art maybe the art or code that i put out there was so shitty that you had to get up in arms and be like i feel so attacked by this thing it is so bad that i am going to become i will eventually become a better coder or a better artist one day because of this filth that i have observed on the internet if it was filth and that's your criticism then okay harsh 
ouch that's that you could have said that a lot better but regardless from that it affected you in some sort of way which is you know any press is good press i guess any reaction is a reaction nonetheless and i think that's a pretty cool but rather shallow thing but maybe you'll take from that as the seed from which to make yourself better i think that is super duper cool if that is a thing that happens i am so happy about it regardless of how good the work is i it seems there's a lot of there's a lot of thoughts of like you know i don't know what if i'm what i'm doing is is good and actually there is a there's a very very close friend of mine who sometimes feels that way about the, the content that they put out it's it's kind of getting getting a little distracted by the numbers sometimes and seeing that things could be better or what it is that what is it that i'm doing wrong and i feel like you can't you will not have the answer of what it is that you're doing quote unquote wrong in your eyes until maybe somebody tells you or until you just you just know for example something about just leaving still images of everything that happens here to as as the la as the first thing that a whole different community sees just didn't rub me the right way and because it didn't rub me the right way i thought you know what i think there's some i, I want to put a little more a little more oomph into that. a little bit more of myself into this there's another thing there's another way that i can put more of a piece of me into what i have the opportunity and luckiness to produce that there's more there's more me that i can put in that and that piece or whatever that is this me that I speak of, and it, it, when I when I say me, it's not it's not just me. It's everything that this er, everything that this. I mean, I dare I say, I don't think brand is the right word. I need two more coin. Jeez, I don't think brand is the right word to use. This is certainly not a brand. I am not. <laughs> I'm not making brand worthy money on anything like this. But like, what what the name means? Like when somebody hears about whatever goes on here or be able to see it for the first time not just what happens here but what happens down down there in the chat or what happens on social media when people are getting a part of a conversation like people you know people see that stuff and that's kind of the imp uh, it want that to be a good impression as good an impression as possible i mean again my definition of good impression may not be what i see as good it may be good for the person who believes that this is absolute filth and because of that will make their work better because they would never want to put something this garbage out on the earth and i don't you know i don't i, I don't know you know everybody gets everybody does their own thing and uh that's 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 my vamp on that and now i have this area over here and i think over here i don't need to pay for the solar roof because there's no light in here so i can begin raising the phosphorus lions yay Yay! What's up, Hobson? What do you got? Before I left the ranch, I found myself sleeping most nights in this year grotto. I'd fill it full of phosphor slimes and watch them dance in the dark. Drifting off, I'd pretend I was stripping in a sea of stars across the limitless blackness space. It's funny how when you dream, you sure become a sucker for the impossible. Every time I woke to find myself back in the grotto, I'd feel a little sadness. But then it was back to work. There was always something that needed doing. There was always something that needed doing. I, I vibe with that. What is this over here? Okay. I think it's a warp point, if I recall correctly. I am cool with that. But yes. What was I rambling about? Yeah, I get to make thumbnails now. It's fun. I get to I get to take the I get to make I feel like things are better now. Things are of a higher me percentage. Not necessarily a higher quality. One of my professors would always say, like, if you're optimizing something or making it better, the hell does that mean? Like, what, is you, what do you mean by better? Can you explain to me what it is that you mean by better? What specific aspect of your work or whatever you're doing has become better because of the changes that you made to it? And this was in a machine learning class. Because he was just like, as a lot of stuff in machine learning is optimization. Well, what the hell is optimization? Oh, it means you're getting to the, the the smallest part of the gradient. Like, what the hell does that even mean? What the hell, what the hell does that even mean? I, I don't know what that means, to be perfectly honest. And neither does anybody... But what's the physical meaning of that? Oh, it makes things more accurate. Okay, again, what... What does it mean to be more accurate? What type of accuracy? Who is it affecting? What kind of data are you working on? How does this affect the world at large? His big thing, th this professor's big thing was, does your work exist beyond 
you. Does it go just beyond it being a class project? And maybe that's maybe that's where my previous rant came from. It's it's just kind of like how how does the how does the world interact with it beyond just you? And I think it's a very 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 wonderful thought to think about for a variety of reasons. I like I like it. It makes me feel it makes me feel good. And I suppose there's there's an opposite side of the argument. Thinking of that makes you feel bad or more anxious than a little anxious. And I don't know. I guess perhaps a, a completely different perspective is due then. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. I mean, nothing really matters. We're all going to die eventually and, you know, nihilism and all that stuff. But, like, it doesn't really matter. What you put out there, I mean, for the following reasons I gave before, you don't, for the, you don't need to worry about it. Why not put your thoughts out there? I remember growing up at a time where, I mean, they probably still do that now, where they're just like, don't put as, put as little of yourself on the internet as possible because you are going to make terrible, terrible decisions probably because you're young and don't know better because we're adults and we obviously know better than you that what you put out there is going to not be good. It's going to affect you permanently in the long run. You are going to have such a lack of opportunities because of the stuff that you put out there because you know what what if, what if you're having fun at a beach party right and you want to post a picture of yourself feeling really really good on your facebook profile and maybe it's got a, maybe you're showing a little bit of skin and whatnot you know and if a i guess if a teacher were to condescendingly talk to you it'd be like you know that's not what you want to put on there that's not what employers want to see well you know if an employer doesn't want to see me at my happiness if the, my employer doesn't want to see me feeling really good about like the way that i am like what well, well, you don't know you don't know what my story is what if my story is i was very very i was very very insecure about my appearance and whatnot and this was the one time that i got enough courage to put that photo out there me and my fancy new swimsuit because i wanted to feel proud of myself to be able to see something out there and get past that step that was so incredibly difficult for me to do and for somebody to kind of state something like well shouldn't be doing that you, you really you, how, how, you stupid don't do that you'll ruin yourself how, what, what kind of right do you have to say that i don't know I, I don't even know what kind of right people would have to to say that and it always it always questioned me and i'll admit it back then when i was actually being told this stuff i was very very hesitant about social media and stuff like that i mean for for good enough for good enough reasons there has been a lot of scandalous activity in the world of information security because what you put out there is not necessarily safe from being preyed upon by literally anybody and i feel like what gets the most what gets the most traction are like the corporations who are selling your data and data mining and things like that you have become a number you have become a paycheck for these people and i don't really want to get too far into that because i mean it's I don't think it's a very good thing. I feel like if there's money to be made on your information, you should be the one who gets a little bit of the credit for that, right? If you're using my work, I want I want credit for that. There's copyright laws for that. If you're using my data, I kind of want a piece of that. I understand that's really hard for implementation and whatnot. I mean, that's the rough working idea I've got of that. But you should be worried about stuff like that and be careful for that. For example, I'm not saying don't put pictures of yourself feeling really, really happy or, you know, within reason, like, you know, I guess... Pornography is not a very good thing to put on the internet of yourself, unless I guess you're making money about it. Keep yourself safe, please God. Keep yourself safe in whatever it is that you do. It doesn't matter what you do, so long as you are safe in it. And there, are, there are ways to make that stuff safe. Bold statement there. I think there's a very safe way to have like accounts like that. And if sites and if from a if sites like Pornhub and OnlyFans protect the information of those who post the content on there, then I don't think there's any problem there. I don't know much about that. I am not a, a general denizens of those particular sites in general. Reddit's where it's at, my guys. But, you know, if there's a system set up that it really protects the people who make content on there, then that is a very, very good thing. Oh, you. Oh, you. You want food? You were a lucky, you were a lucky clad slime. You want, you want this? Eat that. Eat that? Do you not want that? What can I do about you? Do, Qberry? You like that? No, you're a tabby slime. You eat meat, don't you? I need, I need meat. I'm coming back for you. Can I come back for you? I need to come back for you. I need meat. I need something meaty. Um, yes, but if you put, if you put content out there like that, I, I hope it's, I hope it's uh, safe. But yeah, I remember 
times being it really turned me off from using any sort of social media i think for the longest time i think pretty much all i had was facebook i think and even nowadays i don't even i think the only reason why i still have a facebook is to keep in touch with some of my like traditionally older family members who still use facebook they post stuff on there and it's to be able to keep the communication channel open with them because i don't necessarily have all of their phone numbers so if you know, I can post something on there that it's cross-posted from my Instagram, and they, they get to see what just... Oh, okay. Yes, Lucky Slime. Very shiny. Eat that. Yay, I did it. Are you coming back? Eat another one. Eat another one. Oh, you go. Oh, I did it. Yeah, that was cool. I don't think I've ever done that successfully before. Anyway, uh, cool. But then, like, you know, for a while... Feeling like I can't, like, like, I can't do this. I don't understand it. I don't want to understand it. The people who are on these are not, on these social media sites, are not the people that I want to have dealings with. That was my thought originally. And the, to be perfectly honest, the people who use these sites and whatnot, much like you, you and me now, are no different than anybody else. If just because I'm a person who puts content like this on the internet doesn't mean I'm any different than anybody else, anybody else out there. I just... I'm the guy who click the record button. We're all in this together. There's no difference from me and you, except you're on that side and I'm on this side. Whoa. There's like lightning strikes going on outside. I'm sorry, I get very easily distracted sometimes. I think there's lightning happening outside. I kept seeing flashes, but I think I just saw a bolt. Not making any sound though. And it's right over top of like the tallest tower in Philadelphia. It's very cool looking. Very, very cool looking. Uh, la 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 Yes, we are we are art We are all a part of art. We should all be proud of that. I like that But like I never I never posted things on Twitter because I was like What is it? What does it matter? What why do people care about my tweets? Nobody nobody cares about them. I don't know that I really the, the mentality I take now is I don't know that I have no inkling of knowledge of whether nobody's going to like that i have i have no idea I, frankly the only feedback i will get is whether there was a comment a like or a re retweet and even even if the the words in the comments are negative i don't really know if they were meant in a negative way i don't know if the saying yo this sucks means something bad to the person who actually wrote it. As I was saying before, just because you walk in and say, this is absolutely hot garbage, doesn't mean that it's a bad thing for you. Maybe it's a little harsh of a comment for me, but other than that, there ain't nothing wrong, there ain't nothing wrong with it. It could affect you in a very, very wonderful way that it just it just doesn't come across in those, those, those proper words. For all I know, that's somebody who just did not have the vocabulary to say in a way that I was able to understand. Yes, you are... Like you were doing something that I can get something myself out of. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I take personal inspiration from things all the time. So long as we're not, like, copying each other's work. I have a big problem with taking other people's work for your own. I don't like that. I don't like that. I like the copyright laws exist for me. They may be a little annoying at times. What is this over here? Huh. I don't know what this is either. But there's a, there's a hot topic. That's a hot topic, I guess. Doody doody do. It's a hot topic. I don't like that stuff. Oh, what is? Oh, it's a little thing. It looked like a plurt from a distance. I'm trying to climb on these rocks. Climbing on the rocks. Climbing on the rocks. What do I get on the rocks? Oh, if I had the hover boots, this would make things easier. I'm gonna try to run. I'm gonna try to run. I'm going for it. Here we go. Oh my god, I did it. Hey you. Hey you. How you doing? Pink slime eats everything. I don't know if I can get any much farther than here, but I'm gonna try it. Zoo! Nope. Death. Death awaits me. I've been knocked out, but a day's rest shit picks you right up. Oh, no. I lost my stuff, didn't I? Oh. Alrighty, then. That's okay. I lost my Q-bears, but that's okay. Let's get some more... Let's get some more tabby slimes. For the carnivores of the... Oh, that was a lightning bolt. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I heard the lightning bolt. That was good. Very cool. I love lightning. I like storm. I like storms. There's some people who are absolutely terrified of storms and whatnot. I love storms. It's almost therapeutic. Can't stop it from happening. Can't get. Can't stop them. 
Just let it happen. Just let the waves roll and do their things. And let the tabby slimes consume their meat. Do you guys want any more? Are you all... Are you all fed? You're not fed. You're definitely not fed. Get in there. Get in there. I know you guys want more. There's definitely more consumption to be done here. Absolutely. Don't think I've forgotten about my little tabby slimes. No way, Jose. No. No. My little tabby slimes. Our little tabby slimes. Our little tabby slimes. Tabby, tabby, tabby slimes. Ah. Uh. It's been a very pleasant week so far. I mean, I know technically the week only started on Monday, technically today or Sunday, if it's the way that you start your calendars, which sometimes I do. This has been very, very nice. What happened after Anna and mine's anniversary yesterday is we went off for a nice walk. The intent was to go to this game store and hang around for a little bit. We actually were planning on going to the game store earlier in the day before the stream. We go there, then we go get some clothes at a local uh, thrift store, uh, like clothes, secondhand clothes store called um, Plato's Closet. Hold on a moment. I need these plorts post haste, whatever that means. Post haste, post haste. You need those plorts. Well, I guess I'll get you those plorts. Um, but we did that and that was fun. We liked that. So we never actually went to the secondhand clothes store. We never actually made it to Plato's Closet. Plato as in like the philosopher. We never got to Plato's Closet. That's okay. By the time that we were done at the game store, we were like, I don't really want to go out and get clothes. I'm not in the mood for clothes shopping. So we made that. We made that decision. But we went to the game store and we got a lovely game. Anna and I love to play board games to the point where I am, we, we are, we've been trying to, to plan a way to stream board games like not like not like tabletop board not like a uh, tabletop simulator i'm talking like actual board game play we've seen it done before but we want to do it we want to do it as well we want to put stuff out there because like there are sometimes there are these super real moments that happen at the table while playing a board game for the first time that it just feels like anything else i've seen and i would love to be able to get people involved with that to be able to share that with the community of people who also may or may be feeling the same way like i love to be able to do that and so we've been trying to figure out ways to be able to accomplish that uh, and it mostly involves more camera angles and we will eventually get more camera angles now that i had that i i showed off earlier i uh oh oh hello you a gilded slime gilded ginger slime you went away oh my god i was so starstruck gilded slime oh my god that happened okay Killed a slime. I now know that those exist. Cool. So board games are a thing that we want to put out into the world. We just need more camera angles, and we're working on it. It's in the works. Board games are or will be a thing that happen. They will be a thing that happen. I promise that. Because I really want to do that. It's just, it's a thing like... One of the original reasons why I even started doing this stuff anyway was a way to get me to do things that I really, really wanted to do. For example, play a lot of the games in my library. Being able to... Fill that hole in my heart that was theater related. Being able to like kind of work out my voice a little bit more. Being able to talk more. I felt like I wasn't able to talk much. Now I get to talk all I want to. Nobody really stops me. Which is good, because I like that. But so being able to do that is awesome. I love it. And being able to play more board games. Anna and I really haven't played a lot of board games. And I, I say Anna and I a lot because like we, we live together. So like... Who else am I going to play a physical board game with? We don't get visitors here too, too often. Though every once in a while, we've got you know, some nice fellows who pop on by for game nights or whatever it is that's going on. Love, love those game nights. Love, love, love my game nights. They're always fun. Um, la, 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 la. But so we actually did. We went into the store and we were looking all around at the different games that we could possibly get. And we didn't exactly know what we wanted to grab it was a whole new whole new game store whole new set of products some of the stuff that we recognize we recognize a lot of games we, when, isn't our first rodeo when it comes to a game store but we were trying to find something special something worth the trip it took us about an hour to walk there and we got there 20 minutes before it closed so we were very lucky to actually get in there before they wound up kicking us out and we spent a little more time there and we were trying to find something we were just kind of looking around the store we were looking at expansions for games we already have. There's a game that we play called Splendor, which I actually have played on stream before in Tabletop Simulator with my pal Christina before. It's a game about, it's a resource management game about gems and being able to purchase things. I love research ma resource management games. They have always just been a thing that I, I guess I've, I've just really, I really enjoy that. I like resource management. Elder Rustro, nice. Well, I guess one of y'all are going in there. Boop. 
Go in there. Get eaten. Yum. Numb. But I've always liked those types of games. There's another, if for anybody who is actually interested in research, resource management games, there's another one out there called Istanbul, which I uh, very much enjoyed. Uh, our pal Pepper uh, informed us about that when I played it while the ship was over one time. It was a very, very fun time. I really like that game. Also, there's a more, I guess, sci educational game out there called Cytosis, which is the whole uh, premise of the game is you are a cell. And you are trying to make sure that you get as many, um, you want to have as many resources as possible to have as most, uh, the most points at the end of the game as possible. And you get points for a variety of different things, of course. Uh, one of the things you get for is different proteins. If you create, um, excess levels of ATP, which is adenotriophosphate in the body, which is the way that your body produces energy. If you ever wondered exactly what the final step before you being able to move your arms are it's it's atp basically atp runs the um the oxygen pump which allows the oxygen to be the oxygen pump makes more atp atp allows your cells to do their thing that's that's how that works without getting too far into bio it's been a while since I've bob says chicken chicken chickens chickens you want chickens i can give you chicken i can give you chicken is a rooster joe i can give you chicken I can give you all the chicken you want. You want chicken? It's chicken. Chicken? Chicken. But so we were able, we were looking for that. We thought maybe we should get some more splendor. The goal is actually to be the most efficient self. Thank you for the correction, Disney Queen. I appreciate that. If nobody corrects me, if, if somebody like you doesn't correct me, nobody will. Thank you for that. We got, uh, la 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 la. But yeah, so we saw an expansion for Splendor that we didn't want, we, we were considering. There were a couple of new games. There was one game where you're like a tree, I think, and you're trying to be like best tree, I guess, like that. It was called Arboretum. I don't exactly know what it's about. Anna, Anna Disney Queen knows more about that than I do. I'm gonna start a garden here. And I wanna put in beetroot. Beetroot is a thing. Nutrient soil. I can get some of those. Scare slime? Scare slime is stuff. Tar model designed to keep wandering. Slimes only through a cop. Simple, but yet terrifying. We should buy that next time. The Splendor expansion? Oh, absolutely we should. <laughs> or, or or maybe the Arboretum game. The uh, the tree game. The tree one. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, or, um... So, so I, I've been cutting around the chase, basically, of what we actually wound up getting. We did buy a game. We did. And it is it is great. I'm gonna I'm gonna go grab that game actually real quick. I'm gonna listen to the sounds of slimes popping around. I'm gonna go grab it because we're so incredibly proud of the slime. It's a wonderful find of a game. It's probably enjoyable. It's completely different from oh my god, it is pouring outside. Holy cow, the heavens have actually unleashed their wrath on us today. But it's similar to a game that other denizens might already be aware of. I'm gonna hide it for a moment because I don't want to share it just yet. See, there is a game out there called Betrayal of House on the Hill. We love that game. Essentially, you start out as a couple of people in a mansion. You start off in the bottom room in the entrance of this manor. And as you travel around the manor, you find more and more. Uh, the, the manor gets bigger and bigger and bigger. As you progress through the manor, actually, you will find items, you will find clues, you will find other, th uh, not, not clues, you will find omens of this mansion that you were going around. And omens are a fickle, fickle thing. You can get some pretty cool stuff when you find an omen, but you have to roll a die. And if you roll a die number that is, I believe it's uh, uh, under, under the threshold of how many omens you've found so far, you will completely change the goal of the game. And the original, the game starts out as just, your goal is to run around and um, run around and play, uh, explore the mansion. And then afterwards, afterwards you have to fight, and you become excited. There'll be a traitor that betrays all of your friends and then the rest of the friends. You're, you're fighting against them. There's tons of different scenarios to play the game and depending on who comes out the other side, maybe one person will win, a couple of people will win, nobody will win, the house will win, it's incredible. But so we found, a children's version of this game, Betrayal of House on the Hill, and it is Scooby-Doo, Betrayal of Mystery Mansion, and and it's it's Betrayal of a House on the Hill, but with Scooby-Doo. And we were so we were looking through games for quite a while, and we came across that one on the ground. We came across that one, and we're like, 
Oh my god. We we gotta stop looking at games. This is the one. This is the one. <laughs> Betrayal is such a fun game. I know, right? It is one of my it's one of my favorite games. I think that was one of the first like large complex games. Oh, uh, that one I think was $35. I think the, the price may still be on the back. What's the price say? Price was taken off the back. I think it was $35. $35 a week. It was totally worth it. Oh my god. I mean it kind of it changes up the gameplay quite a bit. If you're familiar with the regular betrayal, there are no omens. This time it's clues and you got your gang you got your gang there. The rules are incredibly simplified. There technically is no traitor. There is a monster. And, the, and who, whoever is the monster gets to choose that they are the monster. Um, I think damage works a little bit differently. It's just, it's easier for the kids. The board game Disney Villains is a pretty good one if you haven't played that one. Excuse me a moment. It's funny you should mention that particular game. Because, 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 because. One, two, three. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, four, five, here comes number five, six, seven. A moment, if you will, while I go grab something totally relevant. Trust me, you're gonna, you're gonna love it. Totally relevant. The question was whether or not I have heard or have played the Disney Villainous game. Yes. Yes, we have heard. Absolutely, we do. We have every single one of them. The Marvel expansion bothers me. And this is why. The, uh, oh my god, we're doing line jumps. Okay, the Marvel expansion bothers me, and this is why. Uh, Marvel expansion bothers me because it's got a completely different rule set than the other game so like the one time i had some friends over and we were trying to play disney villainous nice shirt thank you i got it from a wonderful individual named think i guess five minute dungeon i don't think i've ever played five minute dungeon but i have played five minute marvel which i believe is similar to five minute dungeon we will have to we need to try that one we do we do we don't actually own that one yet it's on the list of things to try get these cute berries over here bounce it around bounce it around but yes, we do have, we have heard of Villainous. We want to play Five Minute Dungeon. I think, I think Anna played Five Minute Dungeon. If I'm correct in saying, my goodness, that rain is torrential outside. My goodness. Uh, yes. Not as, not as good. Yeah, the Marvel, the Marvel version, I think is, uh, I don't know. Whenever, maybe it's just the Marvel rebranding. And they changed the rule. Maybe it's the fact that they changed the rules a little bit for some reason. At least they did for um, Marvel Villainous. It just made it not so fun. I mean, the problem was I really, really wanted to try out. I wanted to try out the Marvel characters and how they interplay with the other villains. Because one of the coolest parts about Villainous is the fact that you can play any villain against any other villain. And the gameplay completely changes depending on like what, what, the, what it is that you're doing. And I love that. It's so cool the fact that you can you can always pick a different character and so long as you and your cohorts are playing a different character as well a different villain as well the game completely seems like completely different. Okay, I need to get I need to put these plots away. Or uh, carrots? Carotten. Carrots. Mmm, carrots. But I love that about the game. It's cool. And it reminds me a lot of Red Dragon Inn as well if you if you ever heard of that game. We have a lot of expansions for that as well, not all of them. Not all the expansions for Red Dragon Inn, but we're getting there. But it reminds me a lot of that in the sense that you can play any character against any other character. Red Dragon Inn, awesome game. You're in a tavern, and essentially it's a it's a game where every single character you has has every single character has a different deck. And essentially, to win the game is to be the last one at the bar. You can either die by losing too much health, your constitution gets way too low, or you run out of gold and you get kicked out of the inn, or you get drunk enough that you just kind of like pass out and they have to you know they have to put you on one of the beds in the back of the inn and uh different characters have their own spiels but essentially the idea is you can there are different mechanics of the game you can you can gamble your money away or rather gamble the money away from other players 
Um, you can also... I love this game so much, I can't believe I'm, I don't have the words to describe it right now. I'm like, my train of thought is off. Oh goodness, but it's a great it's a great game. Red Dragon Inn is a really great game that I would definitely recommend uh, trying out. It's one of Anna and mine's favorite games to play at parties because you can have a lot of people playing at once, and usually that's a pretty good thing. Unstable Unicorns? Yep, love Unstable Unicorns. I like that one. That's a, It's got a very... It's like... It, it just reminds me... I was actually talking about that with Anna the other day because we were trying to determine how do you categorize... Um, how do you categorize Unstable Unicorns or Llamas Unleashed? I've also played Llamas Unleashed. What, who was that? What just came out of there? We don't own we don't own Unstable Unicorns. We have Llamas Unleashed, but we've played both. But we're trying to categorize like what type of game would you call that other than just a card game? Because essentially it is just a card game. Is there's nothing different? There's nothing different than between like a regular deck of, deck of cards and llamas unleashed or um or unstable unicorns and what i mean is like if you were to assign specific rules to each card in the deck and how to play them it's pretty much the same it feels like a game of magic the gathering except i didn't create my own deck i really like unstable unicorns it's one of those games that like everybody loves to play but then we play it like two or three rounds of it and you're like ah, okay we can we can move on to something else that or you're with a group of people who will never not want to play it. It's, it's great, it's great. Come hither. We're waiting until Gen Con to buy some more. Yeah, because um the unstable unicorn the people who do unstable unicorns uh and Llamas Unleashed is a company called T Turtle, and they also make merchandise as well. I for one have a really awesome pair of underwear from T Turtle, and nobody else gets to see it except for me. And it's great. And so we're gonna try to buy some more of their merchandise at Gen Con, which is a board game competition. It's over in, um, let's see, it's, it's, it, Gen Con is happening in Indianapolis this year in September, and Anna and I are going, woo! I'm so excited for it. It's a lot of board games, a lot of board games. Um, I've never played the Mario Kart game, and which Mario Kart game do you mean? I know of a, a couple of them. The one that I am most familiar with is the, um, the one that I'm most familiar with is the Mario reskin of Hanafuda. Which I've never played. I never played it. My brother has a set of those Hana food cards that have Mario on them. Um, let's see. Are there other other? There, there might be another Mario card game out there. You've stumped me on that one. I don't think I've ever played that one. It's pretty cool though. I'm glad to know it exists. If you want, if you want to link it, by the way, you have my full permission to do so, so that we can all become interested in it together. So we can all be enlightened as to the wonder of more and more board games out there. As I collect all these plorts. Plort, 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 Yes. Oh, that was... That was a close lightning bolt. There are so many lightning bolts outside. I'm like... Ah, I'm totally freaking out here. It's great. Love lightning bolts. It's so cool. Oh, it's Foster Plorts. Very happy with that. Cool, cool. September 17th is the day that we are going. We are going on... Is that a Thursday? I think that was a Friday. I think that was the Friday. It's great. We got a little... We, uh, we were... It was a bit of a conversation for us because we were like, this is kind of like the first time that we just, Anna and I have gone to just a con like on our owns. And the, the mentality, the thought about it was this. The thought was we should just buy our tickets to it. And then if anybody else happens to be going, we can plan from there. Because it's kind of it's kind of difficult, especially especially nowadays because of the whole pandemic thing going on is to, to get our like our pals together to meet up at a convention. Because, you know, everybody's got, everybody's, aside from everything else, everybody's working, everybody's doing their thing. That's yeah, good. Post it here on the Discord? You can post it right here, but it's, it's topical. It's topical. So you feel free to post it right in chat if you'd like. I think that's, inc that's, that's good. It'll be good. Uh, la 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 la. What are some other games that I really, really like? Other board games. I, I was mentioning before we had the opportunity of playing, of getting the it's expansion to a game um called splendor i love i love splendor just the idea i'm the kind of person when when i'm thinking in a board game i will sit there like this and i will say nothing i will say nothing as i think about what it is that i'm going to do next because i'm thinking i'm thinking and then eventually i'll wind up losing anyway i'm actually very bad at the splendor game but um 
Yeah, I'm very, I'm very, very bad at the Splinter game, so I actually suck at that game, because compared to Anna, she always, always, always wins. She always wins. I'm actually going to check out that... Oh, I got all the rock floors. Nice. I'm going to check out that Lincoln in just a hot second. Yeah, and what Anna does to win Splendor is to pick a goal in the game. Like, pick a goal of how to win the game that has nothing to do with the actual object of the game. And somehow it always it always winds up working out for her. That strategy always works. It's incredible. And I, I'm astounded. I'm astounded by it. It's crazy. But it works. And if it works, then hey, what do you know? Anna's also always planning in advance, which I like to tell myself I'm doing. I'm not. I'm really bad at planning in advance. I'm, a, I'm always I'm just very bad at that. So let's take a look at this Amazon. I want to see what link this is. Maybe I have seen the game. What? Super Mario Brothers Power Up Card Game. <coughs> Excuse me. Interesting. Easy to drink. Quick and fun. Nice. It pairs with the Uno Super Mario Brothers. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I'm clapping I'm so much. Uh, woo. Back on that over there so I can see my chat again. That's cool looking. I've actually never seen that in stores. I wonder if it's it's probably in like Target or something. No, probably not Target. I, I we seem to have all the games from Target. I wonder what else they got out there. But yeah, that's cool. Thank you so much for sharing that link. It's another game on the list of games to consider and potentially have a really good time with. New games are always the funnest. Game recommendations are, I think, always the best. I was the kind of, I was the kind of person who, when I was younger, loved taking, like, risks and whatnot, and one of the risks I like to take was, like, a gamer's risk, where you go into it not knowing what the game is. I mean, clearly it's a card game. Clearly, clearly the, you know, the Super Mario one is a, is a card game of sorts. But, um, I don't really know anything else about it. It could be cool to just kind of, like, snag it and be like, you know what? Let, we're gonna try this. We're gonna try this totally new. And a lot of the more abstract games, like that one tree game I was talking about, Arboretum, or at the time when we were all hanging at... Uh, no, 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 come here. Come here, slimes. No, no. Ah, come here, phosphorus slimes. No, why would you do that? I got you before you transformed. Nice. I got four of them. Nice. Uh, can't do long-term advance, but after, like, two terms of advance, which is why it makes chess a little hard. I love... I like playing chess. Um, I like to play it, but Anna doesn't want to play with me. I used to think I was pretty good at chess. I'm really not. I played against another friend of mine who's actually good at chess, chess and I suck. I suck at the game chess. It's too difficult. The game Risk. Yeah, the game Risk is the one where you to kind of take over the world eventually. It's a really, really long game to play. It's kind of kind of gets long and drawn out, and a lot of times you'll be stuck in like these stalemates that last forever. It's kind of, it's Monopoly-esque in a way, but also kind of not. It's like you... It, it's supposed to be reminiscent of, like, war itself and the fact that sometimes the struggle of war can last for a very, very long time in certain areas. That or, you know, you wind up getting in a, a mass of, like, your troops in one area and just absolutely obliterating, just pushing on through, like, Australia. The stronghold of Australia is real in Risk. Playing Risk was something that I used to play with my family a little bit. And something that I used to play at my fraternity house as well. We used to have a house-wide game of Risk. And Games of Risk at the fraternity house was a very, very fun time. Games of Risk at the fraternity house involved everybody being held up in their rooms. And each room was a team. And so we would have um, one person from each room, from each team, go down and make the move. It would either be like a dedicated, like a designated person um, who volunteered or somebody, somebody um, different every single time to go downstairs and make the decision of the team that was sitting in the, the bedroom. So we would all discuss like a team. We would be watching it. The um, one person would be live streaming the game from an Xbox that was down in the meeting room. And so we would all be tuned into the live stream and watch as everybody else made their moves. And we would plan our moves while we all, you know, otherwise got, you know, a little tipsy in our rooms because it was, it was a little, we all got a bunch of guys together, a bunch of fraternity guys together. We're all going to drink a little bit and have a good time. And so one person would go out of the room and make the decision on behalf of the rest of the team. That was a really, really fun time. It was completely different. I love that game. Back when you were a hardcore Mormon, being a missionary, went through the chess phase and had 12 straight wins, which was insane. That's awesome. I, and I guess you, were playing, you weren't playing against, like, newbies to this either. You were probably playing against people who were, like, also chess players. I, I for one, wind up 
finding people who are new to chess and being like, I want to play chess with you. And they're just like, I don't like chess. You, you, I, you, you did too well against me. I lost. And I'm like, yeah, you were right. Maybe. I just wanted to feel good about myself playing chess. I'm not that good at chess, but I, well, I like to think that I am. But that's always so that I, uh, chess has always been like a game of the mind and logic to me. And when I was younger, I thought like logic was my thing. I am a logical, logical person who don't make any any decisions that aren't too logic. And uh, I was I was wrong about that. Uh, personally, I think it is a a very I think it is a very very naive uh, thing to do to say like you are either totally logical or totally emotional. We are creatures. We are creatures that experience emotions. Why would you discredit the emotions? We're not crazy for having emotions or anything like that. This is crazy. There are people who are pretty decent at chess as well. Congratulations for you, Asher Rock. I'll play chess with you sometime. I'd love to play chess sometime. I've seen there's a there's a there's a person that I know who streams chess like a lot. They stream chess like all the time, and I've never I've never like popped in. But there's another friend of mine, one who I know personally, who watches chess streams all the time before I before I started streaming. He was, he was like, you want to tune in for a Want to tune in for a chess stream? It can get a little, it can be a little wild. I was like, I don't know how I feel about that. It was a very quiet stream. But, uh, there was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of activity in the chat. The chat for chess streams seemed to be incredibly active. With other people who were just like, Oh my god, I can't believe you just made that move and stuff. Like that. I don't play enough chess to be able to see the game in that manner. It's like when you're watching a sport, which I also don't necessarily understand. Um, I don't watch a lot of sports myself. But for the people who know like the ins and outs of how the games are to work, when they see something that might go like against what another team would do, or like what what against a certain strategy, you're like, oh my god, this is super interesting because I know the in the inner workings of this game. I can get that kind of enthused. I guess it depends on how much you've actually played the game or actually paid attention to it. I don't pay attention to a lot of football. Football is not super duper entertaining, except when I'm with a lot of people. And then it's very entertaining because of like the atmosphere. Um, soccer is entertaining to me because I actually played soccer before. So I kind of know how the game works on a very basic level, but I kind of understand how that stuff works. Um, being, watching people play like chess. Oh, yeah, you're co-hosting. Thank you for co-hosting, Astro. What do I do for co-hosts? What should I do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a balloon. I'm gonna make a balloon for you. And I'm not gonna pop it this time. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be crazy like like other times. This poppage is necessary. I like that. I feel that. I feel that. But like so when you're playing if I were to watch you playing let's let me think of like a video game that I kind of know the workings of. I'm trying to think of a game that's strategy based that I know the workings of. Um I don't think I'm super good at the game Civ. Astro Balloon. Um, I don't think I'm particularly good at the game Civilization. However, however, I, I've played the game and I'm at least familiar with kind of the, the rules of the game. So I feel like I would be able to watch somebody play Civilization and be like, oh my god, I think I think they're making a mistake. This the pressure is on. I think this person may lose because of whatever it is that they're doing, and I'm invested in it. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I have to be more. I guess I'd have to have more experience with the game to be able to fully understand and fully appreciate it. Like a lot of people who understand, um, understand sports. I feel that. Definitely agree. Well, I'm happy that we're coming to an agreement there. Also, the more drunk you are, the more you feel that you enjoy. In terms of like watching games or streams and stuff like that, I feel that. I feel like I get more invested. I, I definitely would get more invested if I were a little more drunk. And for example, I get drunk on stream sometimes. Uh, I've done it, a, I think, a couple times now. It doesn't happen super duper often. Um, I haven't really done it recently because, like, we've kind of been going out a little bit. I kind of got a lot of alcohol in my system already, for, like, in the past week and whatnot. So, like, temperance. It's all about temperance and tolerance. We go and do... We go into all things intolerance. But I haven't mixed a lot of cocktails in a while. Just watching sports in general. Yeah, I feel like if you're if you got a nice if you got like a beer in your hand and maybe a couple more in the in the chamber so to speak, then it's a little more enjoyable of a of an experience. And don't get me wrong, when I would watch the um the um excuse me, the football games at the um at my fraternity house every year, we would all go downstairs and we would all watch the Super Bowl, obviously. 
and we would have a uh, the house would buy beers and everybody would have beers to, uh, to get. and i would sometimes make myself a cocktail or maybe i'll get my own beer because a lot of the times the beer that we were getting were not really the beers that i was interested in but it was it was always a, it was always a really nice time it just because of the fact that there were people there who were also really really excited i feel like the environment of people there also enjoying it with you is half the fun of the game like i don't I, and I'm sure there are people who as well can get as much enjoyment from the game by watching it by themselves with their own brewski in their hand with nobody else enjoying it around them. But I'm the kind of person who I would very much enjoy that type of stuff if I were around other people who also enjoy it and who are having a really, really good time. Back in high school, I never really watched the basketball game or the, i'm sorry the uh, the football games but i was a part of the marching band and a lot of people in the marching band were totally into it and therefore i was totally into it and it was a really really fun time for everybody there because i couldn't just not not pay attention to the energy of the people like it's I, I couldn't not just be a part of it sunday on sunday night it got pretty drunk i bet there was a pretty awesome game going on there you managed to hit that like super good buzzed phase the whole time for once it was a great experience i feel that way over the weekend, um, after I graduated on Friday, uh, Anna and her PT pals were having a wonderful, wonderful uh, time. Uh, they had set up a little open bar thing at a bar that one of Anna's classmates worked at. And so at that point, we go into the bar. It was an open bar and it was a lovely time. And we started doing open bar things like drinking a lot of drinks and getting a little too drunk. But something I forgot, something I had forgotten was I really, I, I too, like to get to that point where I'm not uncomfortable, I'm not not having a good time, I'm having a good time and I'm fluffy. I'm fluffy, the inhibitions are falling, I've not, I'm not afraid to talk to new people, I'm not afraid to get a little crazy a little bit, and I like that point. And I would call that the sweet spot of my own drunkenness. And I, I definitely feel that, that that sweet spot is what's necessary. I We did not get to the... I mean, we got to the sweet spot, but far beyond the sweet spot. And it was a rather unfortunate experience after the fact, but I needed something like that to remind me of where the good spot is. You'd love to enjoy a game with people who know more about it than me. I always feel intimidated in those situations, but a lot of times it's me who always knows absolutely nothing and people who know literally everything about the game and it, it kind of it kind of scares me however so when you got us when you have a question and drunk you is having a hard time understanding things they can explain it to you all the, all the things that you're having trouble with <laughs> and no that night we did not drink any water there was not water being aptly served at the bar my biggest problem with a bar is the fact that the water like the water isn't right there you have to ask for water oh select a rancher to talk to i can select a rancher i'm gonna go with uh Mochi Miles. The last thing I want to do is make you look bad, but it's still on the list. What's on the list? Oh, more plorts. I got plorts for you. Phosphor fluorides. Yeah, no, we did not drink any water. And one of my biggest problems with bars is the fact that they don't put the water in front of you. If I am drunk, needless to say, I am a child. If I am drunk, that means I am not going to make the decisions that I know are best for me because I don't even know what it is that's best for me at that point. So you have to put, you have to put the water in front of me. If I see a pitcher of water, it's going to remind me like, oh my god. I should be drinking water because I'm supposed to be drinking water and it'll be like a game to me. But if I don't see the water in front of me, I'm not going to wind up wasting my time at the bar grabbing a cut thing of water. And it was, it was a rather, you know, unfortunate thing, but it happens. It happens to all of us and I feel totally fine now. It was a, a little messy, but it can be messy sometimes. Sometimes it can be a little messy. You got another elder hen. Nice. Nice. Elder hen? Elder, oh, they're elder roosters too. I see, I see. They're probably more tasty. I did not drink any water. When people know everything about it, it's it feels like really, really good to be able to be a, in that scenario where you can actually have people explain things to you. I know my intimidation comes from the fact that I am afraid to look like I don't belong. And needless to say, I know I belong. I'm having a great time. And not once have I ever asked a question and somebody ridiculed me for it. Not once. So based off of purely experience alone i shouldn't feel bad about it and but you know what that's that's tough to get like into my thick skull i don't necessarily get that immediately but like every time i've watched like um a really really good pal of mine we sat down and watched hockey some one time because another mutual friend of ours was like he's canadian and it, this is his resume like i like hockey because i'm canadian i'm like i believe you so we watched hockey 
And I was asking questions. I was like, by the way, I don't really know what's going on. Can you explain things to me? And not once were they like, well, how do you not know this? I was like, no, 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 yeah, look, we'll explain things to you. And I didn't exactly absorb it all, but it made the game that much more enjoyable for me because I knew what was going on. And I really, I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the game more because my, my buddy put it the best. He's like, I want to, I don't want to sit here while you not enjoy the game because you don't know what's going on. So if you have a question, do me a favor and let me know what that question is so that I can help you feel more have more fun with the game because now you know what's going on and i like that mentality i like that mentality a lot i think it's incredibly it's incredibly encouraging it's incredibly accepting which is why i love this guy he's a great friend of mine because he's always been that way to me i i i feel like i know a lot but there are some things that i just don't know a lot about because i've just never taken the time to understand it anything that i don't know about probably means that i have not taken the time to understand it i've taken the time to know about physics and electronics and stuff like that. I have not taken the time to understand American football, and so I don't necessarily appreciate the game as much as other people would because I don't have the knowledge for it. But for the for the ones like my buddy who will explain things to me and to make sure that I know what's going on so that I have the maximum the maximum amount of fun, I love him for it. I love that guy for it. Anyway, going back to board games, have I ever played Megaland? I've never played Megaland. What is that game about? That reminds me of a video game I've played. But I don't think it's, I don't think it has anything to do with it. It reminds me of a game called Evo Land that I played where like the beginning of the game is like all 8-bit and whatnot. And then as you get upgrades in the game, it becomes the technology that looks like it made the game becomes more and more like recent and whatnot. Uh, oh shit, that's not the right place I'm supposed to put that. Whoops, got it. Uh, but no, I've never heard of Mega Land. It sounds very interesting. From the name alone, it reminds me uh, it makes me think that it's like a like a like a world-based game, as in like the world you exist in depends upon what you do. Like I don't know, like Catan or something like that, or maybe there's superheroes in this world, Mega Land. There's a really awesome game. It's not superheroes. It, it, there's a really there's a really awesome board game that we played called uh, King of Tokyo, which is really cool. You're like a monster trying to invade Tokyo, and you're trying to kill all the other monsters. That's a really fun one. You can play a frog, and you have to get 20 coins to win. Oh, interesting. That is not the impression at all that I got from the description of the game. But now I'm even more interested about it. Nice. What are these upgrades for my soil? Remove cost, scarce slime, nutrient soil, like that. Uh, garden, I like that. I'll do the same thing. Oh, wait a minute, did I already do garden? Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice, nice. What about my other guy over here? Does this have sprinklers? I don't think this has sprinklers. They're not growing very fast. Y'all should grow faster. Actually, let me see about these these hens. Let me do that. Spring grass. Uh, the belly's full. Holds up pretty eggs twice as fast. I like that. And grow in a healthy hen stress as fast. Nice. I like that. And Vitamizer. Such a fun game, Trouble in Tokyo. Very, very fun game. I love I love that one. Now, I'm not sure. Is Trouble in I wonder if Trouble in Tokyo is different than king of tokyo i i wonder i i think i think we're probably both talking about the same thing but i i don't necessarily know because i wouldn't know it otherwise but the one i'm talking about is king of tokyo that was very fun but i guess it's probably maybe it's called something different in different areas for all i know the branding might be different but that is a very very fun one and i i think the reason why i got into board games like anna and i got into board games more recently was because it reminds us of the days when we used to hang out with the buds after high school and that was a fun time we would go to my buddy lycos Laura's house and he would have we, we would play games we would we would watch anime and no problem for you Anna. we all make mistakes that's okay i just more I, I just more put it out there just to make sure that we're both talking about the same thing because if in fact if, in fact, for example, in this case, if if Trouble in Tokyo were another game, I want to know about it. Because there are, some, there are some games I've found like that. They're one word different is a completely different experience. We're a completely different manufacturer. So we almost, we almost found out something new there. I almost found out something new there. That's cool, though. It, it could have been really cool. I feel like you might have... Whoever made the game might have some branding and copyright issues but that's not that's not our problem to worry about we don't have to worry about the copyright and the branding no no problem there give me slimes and i came out here for more you know i have the slime key now i have the slime key so i i'm gonna go out here uh take some slimes uh, take some pogo fruits guys 
I want your fossil slimes. I want your fossil slimes. I want your fossil slime. Give me your fossil slimes. And your points. I'll take your points too. I'm gonna go to this area over here that has the slime key. There was a door over here. I thought I'd forget about it. I did not forget about it this time. I know we got this guy over here. The big old slime in here. You take fruit though, and I just gave away all of my fruit. I am so sorry, big old phosphor slime. I did not mean to do that. But if I go this way, I have a slime key on me, which should unlock a new area if I don't die, which I shouldn't die. I don't think I'll die. I don't want to die. I have no way to defend myself though yet. I have not yet done that. Wow, look at y'all down there exploding. Absolutely terrifying. Slime key? I've unlocked a slime key. Now what can I get? Hello? Ah, a new adventure to behold. This looks like gold. Oh, it's probably just sand. Oh, look at you! That looks like a recipe for disaster. I'll take the phosphor slime. Give me that. Oh, I don't need you. Oof! Whack. You little, little thing, aren't you? What other type of things are right here? There's more carrots. I like carrots. Carrots are good. I'm looking for new slimes. New slimes abound. For more plorts. Do you have that for me? I, I think I recognize this area. I've this is not this is not my first time. Whoa, okay. This is not the first time I've played Slime Rancher. I played it a long time ago. Speaking of which, apparently they just announced Slime Rancher 2. Awesome! I used to come to this beach to think. I'd sit and stare at those distant rings and ruminate on who created them and for what purpose. But most of all, I'd sit here and think of her rings. Rings in the distance. Look at those rings in the distance. Very wonderful. Pondering the rings. What you all got over here? Want some carrots? Carotin? Uh, what about the big old slimes over here? There seems to be another slime over there. Oh, I might- Oh, I think I'm okay. Uh, mm, you're a big old slime. That's not what I need. Let's get some- let's get some f speed and- Oh! Thank God I survived! I don't think there's anything- Whoa, okay, more of y'all. That's unfortunate. There's too much of you. Tabby slime? I don't need more tabby slimes. Any other more exotic slimes abound? More exotic slimes abound here? More carrots? I'll take carrots. I like carrots. Treasure pod! We do have treasure pods. God. Gee whiz. Huh. This dude went from thinking about God and the universe to women and boobs. Oh. That wasn't particularly on my mind, but I was considering different types of pornography before as they pertain to the artist. I believe there was a topic of conversation before. At least for me. I don't know if it was conversation at that point. It was mostly just me rambling. It was definitely me rambling about things. But lo and behold. Lo and behold. I talk about things at the... <gasps> it's a ball! I'm going to bring this back to camp. I've got this. I've got this now. This is my ball. This is my ball to share with my pals. I'm taking it back with me. Bye, y'all. It's ball time. Let me bring this back to my friends. I hope this sticks around the, uh, the, the place. I hope it sticks around the, the, the little farm that I've got. That's awesome. Oh, the farmer dude's arrival. Oh, oh, oh. Thinking about the woman. I understand now. I've mentioned that I'm dense, right? Just, just a bit. He's definitely got that on the brain. He's just like, I have not. I haven't tough felt the touch of a woman in many, many years. I wish I had my wife, but I left her back at home. To pursue my life as a farmer. I told myself I didn't need my family, but I became a farmer. Oh goodness, what have I done? I will feel no love again. And then, and then I show up. Another. Oh, uh, that's if that character in this game, I believe, is ladylike. And so, but he's already dead. I think. Maybe he's dead. I don't know what happened to Hoban. Ho Hobson. Hobson. I think his name is Hobson. I don't know what happened to Hobson, unfortunately. We don't need to know what happened to Hobson. It's okay. We don't need him. Whew. It's getting hot in here. I can never tell if it's gotten hot in my apartment or not because of the lights that are shining upon me. And I'm sure that does the trick. Lights can make a person be like, ah. Here, y'all get a ball. Y'all get ball to play with. Play with ball. If you want to. You don't have... Oh, y'all are happy. That's so cute. Y'all get, get happy when you play with ball. Ball's good. Eat these. Eat your carrots, and then everybody be happy. Everybody be happy, everybody get more things. Got more phosphor slime that I'll put in this phosphor slime category. This phosphor slime plot. I mean, I gotta wonder if uh, you're out here in this far, far planet from a far, far home on the far, far range. You gotta be thinking about the things that you're missing at home every once in a while. Like, 
the touch of anybody, really. Your family, if you had a family, what it would be like not having to forage all of your own food and whatnot. I don't think my character has eaten at all, but who needs food when you're in space? Nobody, apparently. Nobody needs food. Who needs food? I don't need food. Plorts, 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 plorts. I want to go back out on that adventure, and I will come back for more. Actually, I will take these Q-berries, feed my phosphor slimes, get those plorts ready by the time I get back, and explore for more. I want to find more slimes. Can I, can I, can I get you down for the tree? May you come down? Thank you for coming down for the tree. What is the point of this game? I think there's an ending. Back when I first played it, I don't... Oh, emergency flood warning. Nice. There's a there's flooding here in this area. I think the original point of the game was just to play the game. I don't think there really was a point, per se. I think there is an actual ending to the game now. And I think, if I'm correct in saying the point of the game now is to get... Basically, you want to explore around and unlock, like, I guess the secrets of the farm. Like, max out your farm... Find all those secrets, I guess, like that. Um, I think I'm not. I'm not exactly sure, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I haven't played it enough to really know for myself. We got more beats. Got more beats. You know who likes beats? My stone dudes over there. My stone slimes likes the beats. So you can get the beats. Everybody get some beats when you want them. If you want them, you don't have to have them now. But I believe there is an actual ending to this game. I have no idea what it entails. I never got that far. Back when I played the first time, there was no ending to my recollection. It was just kind of go around, explore, get more money, upgrade your farm, and find the secrets. Whatever the secrets may be. Like, some of the secrets are, there are treasure pods now, apparently, that you can open. There are different areas that you can unlock. There are more areas of your farm. There's plenty of different types of slimes. Clearly, that whole, like, thing over there states that there are so many different types of slimes. I have, I, look, look at these slimes. I don't even know what happened more. Even when I watched my buddy play it the other day, I only saw up to this thing. And those are, I think, I think they're, I double checked it the other day. I think they're quantum slimes. So they kind of phase in and out of existence, which is pretty freaking cool. But like, yeah, wow. Yeah, wow. Like, incredible. I don't know anything about that. All right, so I'm going to go off again. Actually, you know what I should do? Mm, I guess, I guess not. No, no, I'm going to collect my plorts. I'm going to sell them because I can get upgrades for myself. Like my pack and my arm, my boots. I can get better boots. I know that. The boots were made for flying. Not these boots, but the next boots will be made for flying. Or to upgrade my inventory space. I can only hold 20 of everything. Uh, there, there's that. Uh, oh dear. Glad I didn't actually, no, I can't throw it back in. Incredible. Can't throw it back in. Fine then. Whatever, dude. I can get some plorts from here. Yum, 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 yum. But I want to upgrade myself. Upgrade my everything. Another, another beat? I see your heart beat to the beat of the drums. Oh, what a shame that your slimings come undone. I remember that song from my youth. The songs of my youth. Okay, so I want... I want there to be eight left. There we go. Perfect. The rock plorts I'm not super worried about getting a little too much of. Uh, the phosphor plorts, however, I know they are very... They can be... Mm, good, good money. Very good money, so I would rather not miss any of those if I don't have to. Do, 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 do. And sell all these guys. How much money do I have, and what can I spend it on? Oh, there we go. Nice, over a thousand. I don't know where to... Can I upgrade myself inside my home? Maybe. Star mail. I got mail. Oh my god, let's read some mail. Bob says, Hello. Oh, hello, hello. Chickens? Hello, chickens. Chicken. Hello, Bob. PSS. Chicken. Okay. Ms. Lippo, the 7Z Corporation would like to extend a very special offer you an invitation to the very exclusive, exceptionally choice, highly sought out to 7Z Awards Club. I'm Mochi Miles, that Miles, as in Tatsuya Miles, the billionaire. I'm here to do biz important business for my dad, but that doesn't mean I won't make all the rest of these backward types out there look bad in the process. No one conquers the plot market like I do, day in and day out. My dad gives me the inside track, so look forward to my requesting plots that I know will make huge profits later on. Casey, hey B. I, uh, I bought a cactus from you, for you, from you, sort of. When I came back home, it was one of the only things left in your shop. It was a little only little guy, so I decided to adopt it. You know, I 
I kill every plant I touch, but I promise you this one will last. I mean, if I can't keep a cactus alive, then clearly something is really wrong. When I look at it, I think of you out there on the range doing your thing. I hope you're okay. Maybe Casey's the one that I left behind. Ogden, I think I read all of those ones already. Perfect, perfect. 7Z Rewards Club. Initiate. Rustro Weathervane? Are these... What are these? I don't know if... What, learn more? What is this? Optional program to purchase prestigious rewards? I don't think I need that right now. Maybe when I have more. Manage, it's not managed DLC. How do I upgrade my armor? I don't need to sleep until morning. I gotta get back to the range. Maybe it's this machine. I didn't check out this machine yet. I bet this is the machine. Machine? Ah, uh, okay. That's the Slimepedia. Okay, so how do I... Upgrade myself. How do I do that? Maybe it's this machine. Yeah, it's this one. I get a specialized tank for water. That'd be cool. Jetpack would be nice. I can go down a little farther. Heart module tank booster. I would like to hold more stuff in the tank. So I got that. I would also like a jetpack. I like that. I would also like the dash boots. So I'll take all those. Now, I can run. I can run real good. And I can hover. That's wonderful. That's perfect. And now I can hold more plot space. Perfect. Lovely. Y'all are having a good time. Y'all having a good time? Y'all having a great time. Let me take your carrots. Let me, let me, poof! Let me get these carrots. Give me the carrots. There we go. When did I buy this game? It looks really good, and you can you can stream when you get back home. Yeah, absolutely. I bought this one off of Steam. Quite. Yeah. Got it on Steam. Very, very easy. I think um, what I have, if you look down in the about... Uh, in the about me section of the twitch profile i should have linked to the store page if i didn't link to the store page i linked to the actual game website i try to make sure like anything that i stream on here has like it has a link to the game if anybody wanted to actually find it themselves later on so um the link should be down there if it points you to the wrong place i apologize i will fix that was it cheap i think at the time i may have gotten it on sale for like 20 bucks maybe I don't remember. I bought this one uh, a while ago. So whatever whatever price I paid for it was probably not as much as it would be now. It's been it's been years since I got it. So it probably has gone up in price this game this uh this one. And I think I recall actually it did go up in price. This might have been one of those games that actually like when it finally came out of like the beta or something, it had an increase of price because they were like, "Wow, this is you know, this is a well fleshed out game now. We can charge more for this. And that makes sense. The, it's, I think it's a, I want to say it's technically an indie game. So like, you know, charge more for it. I, I totally get that. I think this is one of those games that gets, it will probably, if I had to guess, it will probably go on sale really, really soon because, you know, the summer sale is coming up on Steam. Um, this, they, as I mentioned before, this one just announced a sequel. So I'm sure they'll be having like a promotion sale for that at some point. Like I, I assume, like, if you're coming out with another game, you want to celebrate by, you know, making your first game more available to grab so that you'll be like, wow, the first game was so good. I can't wait to grab the second one. And honestly, I really like this game. I think I will do uh, Slime Rancher. I, I think I will grab uh, Slime Rancher 2 if it ever comes out in, like, beta or anything like that. That'd be really, really cool. So to more succinctly answer your question, was it cheap? I don't remember. But it might have been. Maybe, 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 maybe. I'm always the kind of guy, I really try not to buy things unless there is a price decrease because, I don't know, I want to feel like I'm getting the, I want to feel like I'm getting the best deal possible on things that I buy. Naturally, what I should be doing is extending this mentality to actual, like, physical stores. Uh, go. Go. There we go. I should be applying this to actual stores. When I see something that I want in a store... I will more than likely just buy it if it seems like it's an okay price and not do the research otherwise. Unless it's like something at like a Walmart. Like if I found it at a Walmart, it's going to still be at the Walmart more than likely. Um, but if it's something at like a thrift store, if I don't buy it then, or like a flea market, if I don't buy it then, and oftentimes if I don't buy it right then and there and I wait till later, I will not find it. I will like come back and it'll just be gone. And then I'll regret it later. So... I guess what I wind up paying in that case if I buy immediately is I pay for the convenience of being able to buy it immediately. What are you doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. Stupid. Uh, but yeah, I get to I pay for that, I guess. Am I in the same? 
I'm just going around in circles, aren't I? I am definitely just going around in circles. But not if I go this way. I believe there's an area over there. This is a Q-berry plant. That's a Q-berry plant. Let's see what else. And I think... I, I recall the email I got was actually from the creators of the game itself, Monami Park, because I think I, when I first started playing this game, it was early enough in development where they were just like, yo, sign up for our email list and we'll send you things about what changes we make to the game. And I would get the emails and I would read them about what changes they have made to Slime Rancher, which is why a lot of the stuff here is not super duper new to me. Like I knew of it, but it's the first time I, I, that I'm actually experiencing some of this stuff because I'm actually seeing it with like fresh eyes. But, oh, can I not... I can't go that way? No! Why could I- Oh! This is another area of the farm. That's why I can't go that way. Because that's another area of the farm that I have yet to unlock. Nice! Okay, but I'll, I will eventually purchase that, I guess, eventually. So there was nothing else for me to see over here. So what I should be doing is I should work on exploding one of those other Gordos. If I do that, then I will have a better chance of finding another slime key to find other things. Uh, explode, please. Yes. Chickens? Chicken? Chicken. Chicken hen hen. Feed? Feed? You feed? No! No, no, no! Chickens, come back! Chickens, come back. Please? Please come back. Yes, thank you. I missed I missed your mouth. I need to aim towards your mouth. Aim towards the mouth! God damn it! There we go. Oh, where'd the other one go? No! Fre Wait, I hear a chicken clucking. Where did you go, buddy? There you are! There you are, getting up, getting the mouth. You're a favorite of the tabby slime, so maybe you like that. Yeah, you very much like that. You didn't know for your mouth, so you must have just absorbed it like slime would do. But, you know, I accept your premise. Okay, I got it. Got those back. I don't see anything else of interest over here. I got some Q-berries. Q-berries are good. I can feed that to the phosphor slime. Because the phosphor slime loves Q-berries. The big phosphor slime. The one that may have a key for me. If you have key for me, I'm interested, and I want to get the key from you. Or if you have anything else, that's okay. I want it too. Whatever you got. Whatever you got in that. Whatever you got in your mind. You got you got plorts. I like plorts. Plorts are cool. We can use those. We can all be mutually benefit from plorts from plortage. I like that. Plortage is good. It's only six bucks right now, and apparently there's a second one too. Yes, yeah, Slime Rancher Two is coming out. If it's not already out of whatever, I guess beta or something like that i'm guessing it's probably available on early access but slime rancher is six dollars right now sweet i knew they'd be having a sale on it or something like that feels like the right it feels like the right time to buy for me there's also a website that i go to i don't exactly remember what it's called but if you look up the game's title and then steam price there is a website that will tell you what the price is currently what the price has been before, and whether this is the lowest you'll be able to, like, this is the lowest you'll be able to find the game at if you're trying to get a really good deal. And, uh, I would consider it a really good deal. Some, I mean, if it's like, for example, I'm guessing with, oh, you want stuff too? Yeah, I got stuff for you. Oh, but the chickens are all being dead. Here, take some, I don't know, eat, eat this heartbeat. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it while I take this chicken. No, not you. The chicken. No, chicken. Chicken? Chicken? Come on, chicken. Chicken. No, not the slime. Give me chicken. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely as well. I think the Slime Rancher 2 is gonna... It might... I don't know if it's in early access. You mentioned that there was a second game on there. I wonder if that's... That's like the one that I'm thinking of because I know that just I literally just got an email about that Actually, I got an email of it yesterday because as Anna and why were uh, Anna and I were walking to the game store I was like, oh my god Slime Rancher 2 is apparently a thing. I love that I can't wait to play it and I was talking about how like it'd be really cool to get like Maybe like beta access to it because I've had beta access to games before but I've never really like Had the opportunity to use that beta access to any sort of like advantage like for example, when you when you have a beta access game, you play the game and ideally you give feedback to the developers because they want to know like, yo, is there something wrong with my game? Because if there is, I need the beta testers to tell me and so we can work out those bugs. And I've never been able to play games enough to be able to be that good of like a bug tester. But like nowadays, nowadays I have been able to block out times of my schedule where yes, I can play the game. Yes, I can even do some reviews of it too because I'll be playing the game with other people watching and it gets recorded and stuff like that. And I think it has to do with the privacy policy when you actually get the game. I don't know if 
all beta tests are open for like like streamage and stuff like that they might be wanting to keep things under wraps i don't really know but that'd be something cool to see i've seen like i've seen youtubers get like early access to games because like they're youtubers or streamers get access to games because they're like they're like streamers and it'd be cool to be able to help out the the like especially like indie game companies like that like i'd love to play your indie game i'm amused by anything i've got these really really interesting like i get free games from amazon prime every once in a while oh there's another door over there but so when i get those i'm just like oh i i want to see if i can give some love to these games and if they got enough content to it that i like, do my research there are a couple of ones that i found that i'm just like i don't know anything about this but they look interesting so maybe i'll stream that sometimes and it might be a one-off thing or a two-off stream thing and i'd love to do that because i like i'm always looking for no more things to play apparently you did that with the game evolve cool i've never heard of the game evolve it's not it's not arc survival evolved i guess i'm supposing it's something completely different i suppose oh let's see uh you guys take this heartbeat i'm gonna take these chickens or at least that chicken whoa hi there everybody i don't think i i mean i feel like i heard the name evolve before maybe not for a game but i've definitely heard like i i listen to a there's a there's a oh gosh there's a band that i listen to called shine down and they haven't they have a they have a song called evolve awesome music love their stuff i started listening to that them in like a phase where i was angry at the world and every once in a while i am still very angry at the world the world is a very fine subject to be angry at no you ate my guy i can't believe you did that damn it it's kind of like dead by daylight okay a friend of mine a friend of mine told me i think was it about dead by daylight i think i think i think my friend post told me something about it they, one, of, one of my mutual friends from anna's college i think mentioned a game that we should all play together and it may have been dead by daylight but i don't but i don't remember i don't remember what it was hey there pal got some favorites for you here you go and a pogo fruit there we go i want to give more to you you want more? I will give you more. I'll give you more. I will give you more. Post the trailer for Evolve. Cool, cool. Is it like, when did you do the, the beta test for that game? Is that, did it come out of like early access recently or was it like a while ago? There we go. It's got a little YouTube to check there. I will check that out. I will take a picture of that and I will be able to check it out. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Hey, yes. Got my chicken. I'm gonna take a pic of that so I can check that out later so I'm more aware of the topic the next time it comes up. Eh. Eh. That's dude playing the game. Awesome. More things to keep me up to date on things. I like that. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. I appreciate having the like the 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 people of the world to be like, hey, you should check this out. I'm gonna check this out. And then I get to check it out. And then I'm given the resources. It was like seven years ago. Oh man. Nice. The olden days. I feel like those, like, yeah, I wish I did more of that when I was when I was younger. I definitely wouldn't have been able to do that in the past five years because that's these have been the college days, and the college days did not leave much time for video gaming. Oh, you want more now, don't you? I can give you more. Oh, I can give you more. And the tar up there. Hey, tar. Hey, tar buddy. Tar buddy. You wanna come on? Get, yep. No, I don't. No, you don't appreciate. Whoa, there's so many of you. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye, bye bye, B bye bye. Come here, there. Come here, there. Yes, I will send you into the abyss. Boom. Where do the other ones go? Don't eat my slimes. I can't believe you. You are petrified. I understand that. No, stop! Don't eat them. Eat me instead. Oh, you ate him. Okay, that's fine. Well, you weren't able to be saved, and that's fine. Oh, big old rooster. That's cool. I like that. Wee wee. Bye bye. Oh, did I miss you? I miss you. I must send you into the waters back to Poseidon where you belong. Anyways, I'm the threat is no longer present. We're good now. <laughs> Can I feed them the gray slime? I don't think so. This one eats meat, and I do not believe that the big old scary slimes are considered meat. Though I haven't tried it, and now I'm going to if it comes up again. Oh, did somebody just have oh you were eaten. Total evisceration. You know what? Let me collect these plorts, not you. I'll collect these plorts, I'll go on back, I'll sell them, collect some more good things. I can collect some more Q-berries for the Phosphor Slime, and I can collect some more Roostros and stuff for the Tabby Slime over there, and I'll come back and I'll take care of the Gordos! And if there are Tars, by the time I get back, I'm also going to attempt to make them be eaten by them. 
Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me plorts, give me plorts, give me plorts. Here, you want you guys, you guys eat carrots because you are. Here, eat that. Eat that. Eat that. Eat those. You eat carrots. Yeah, you do. You eat carrots. Yes, you do. You eat carrots. How about you? Yeah. Now get out of here. Get out of here, big old fat ones. Can I? Can you feed them to the red slime path? To the red one? Uh, maybe. I don't think so. So the big tar ball things, the ones that are multicolored, are like the enemy. That's what happens when three different types of slimes mix together. These ones here are these little double slimes, and that's what happens when one slime eats the the plort of another one. Like if I give this tabby, well, I guess if I give this pink plort, hey, I'll show you. There you go. Eat that. Now you become that one. If I feed them a third one, a third different type, they will become. Uh, those tar creatures, because that's just too many elements for the slimes. I guess that's how that works. I'm, I'm a slime level, I suppose that's how that do. Though, I mean, these times, I wonder if these slimes are considered meat. Here, eat this. Eat your friend. No? Okay. Cannot eat friend. Unfortunate. You should open up your Oh my god, look at you. I'll take your phosphor slime in exchange for a chickadoo. Well, I can't do anything with the chickadoo. Give me your phosphor. Yeah! Nice, that worked. Oh, more slime. More plorts. And now I can hold 40 plorts, which means I can sell even more of them. I will flood the market with plorts. They'll never be able to see it coming. The market will never see me coming! What else you got? I got some more plorts over here. I don't want space for those ones. However, I'll come back for those ones. Some more phosphor plorts. Oh, things must have been going on around here while I was gone. Come on, go up, go up, go up. Yes, there we go. Get all these. I will come back for these pogo fruits because I can also feed those to the big old um, phosphor slime. Oh, I can only have 30 of them. Okay, well, that's that's fine then. Uh, no. Eat this. Eat this. Eat all those, and then I will collect this thing. Whoops. And I can collect more of these big old rock plorts. Gimme, 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 gimme rock plorts. Gimme rock plorts, gimme rock plorts, gimme rock plorts. That's fine. Can't collect any more of those. I will sell everything back. I will fill up my inventory to come back and make those Largos explode. They will experience the explosion. Because they will eat too much. And if you eat too much, you're gonna go explode. I forgot I could dash. I should dash. I should be dashing. So I will dash. Now that I have that dash ability, I'm going for it. Okay, I got all these plorts. Does anybody want plorts right now? Bob or Ogden Ortiz? How about Ogden? I'm working on a new recipe. Where the hell, man? Okay. What do you got? Q-berry? Okay, I see. Well, none of that are plort. So I will give... I will take plort away. Excuse me. I'm just send them all in. You can hold the button down. It's very easy to just send all your plorts in. Wonderful. Okay, there should be more you guys. How many more y'all do I got? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give gimme, gimme. I'll take the rock hens. Oh, little stony chick! Cute! Uh, gimme you. Uh, I want you. Elder hen, that'll be good. And you. We got, we got chickens here, so we're fine. We're fine. I'll just keep the roostro here, so I can get more Q-berries. That's the phosphor slime's favorite. And I know that because of the Slimepedia, and I also know that because when I feed the Q-berry to a Phosphor Slime, they get really, really happy about it, and a little heart comes out of them, meaning that they really, really like it. I noticed that on the big Largo ones, and so works on the other ones, too. And for the, for the tiny ones, if you do that, you will get double the plorts from them, too, which means double the money, which means double the, double the opportunity to completely flood the market. Hey, Tar Boy! What did you got there? I have a friend to introduce you to. No, can I not? Oh, can I not, like. Come, come with me. Come with me. I have a friend I want to introduce you to. Come here. Come here. I have a friend. I have a, I have a friend. I got a hand hen, apparently. I also have one of those. Come here. There. Oh, another hand hen? Yeah, give me those. No, don't eat it! Give me your hand hands. Come here. I have a friend I want to introduce you to. Come with me. Come with me. And you'll see. A world of my slime nation I have a friend for you. Hey, this is my friend. This is my friend. Eat. Yeah, have fun. Be friends. Go, be friends with each other. Go, go. Eat. 
Come on. Do something. No? Okay. Fine then. You don't get my love then. You will not have my love. I'm up. Come on. Can I? Can I? Oh, will I not? I gotta take you back to the door. There we go. And then, and then, uh. <laughs> nope. That's the wrong way. This way, please. And then, um. Yeet. Bye bye. Bye bye. Want some Q-berries? Q-berries! Like Q-berries? Yeah, you want more berries. I can get you more berries. I can get you plenty of berries. There's a bunch of pogo berries up at the top there, so I'll grab those. I'll make my way along here, and then I'll find the area. There should be a couple of roostros here. Eat and be merry, for tomorrow we die! It's true. That slime will eventually die, and then we will all be merry even after the death, because we have to celebrate the, the death of these... Giant kitty monsters. Um, I didn't want to worry about that tabby slime. I want to worry. There are two big tabby slimes. I want to worry about this tabby slime because this is the closer one, and I will remember it more readily than I will the other one. Ah la 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 la. Oh hello. Give. Oh stony check. I don't want that. I want you. Give me. Will they explode when you feed them enough? Let's just find out. Eat more! Eat more! Why did you not explode? Okay, yes, they do explode if you feed them a lot. So, that's good. But he didn't explode. He needs more food! He's quite a glutton! Okay, well... There are probably more animals around here. So, we'll find more animals. I already gave you... I've already sacrificed enough of my stock to you! Why wouldn't you give me what I need? The sacrifices! Oh, man. You won't let me. The sacrifices are in vain. So I will take your friends with you. I will prepare more sacrifices. More sacrifices for the slime gods. And pogo fruits for anybody who wants it. Also, you're getting ready for the gyms. You'll be dipping probably in about a half hour. Hey, no problem at all. The fact that you dipped in at all is wonderful. And makes me a very, very happy Cameron. A very happy camper and a very happy Cameron. Nope, I'll, I'll take that. There we go. I tried to I tried to say words and the words didn't come out very well. That's okay. It happens to the best of us. I want more I want more pogo fruit. And there is pogo fruit up here. Pogo fruit? Give me the fruit of the pogos. I must feed my fellow Slime. I must lead feed 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 to feed my little, little slime. I don't really have a lot though. I got Oh, I see more over there. I can use my ability here to suck up more. I'll be ready for the tabby slime when I get back to you. Oh, and another one? I don't have to worry about depleting these nests over here. Because they'll come back. The nests aren't going away anywhere. The one on my farm, though, eh, is not... I, I can't guarantee that if I take them all, that they're gonna go... They're not gonna go away forever. Poker fruit. Eat! Eat! Eat more fruit! Yes, we did it! It was perfectly enough, and now you have exploded into a ton of phosphorus slimes. Now you are mine. And a key! Perfect! Exactly what I was hoping for. Got a couple of those things. Uh, some beet things. That's not really necessary. Got some phosphor slimes. I got more hens. More hens! I can get more phosphor. Uh, gimme you. G gimme you. Explosion! And now I got another key, which is good. Which means there is... Over near the tabby slime, actually. That, that tabby slime that I'm heading to right now. There is a door that I can unlock with this newfound key of mine! Which is great. Now, I don't think this this tabby slime that I'm going to to explode uh, is not... I do not believe they have a key. If I remember correctly, if it's the same as when it was, they don't have a key. Instead, they have a warp point so I can get back there faster later on. And if I run out of hens over here, I'm going to go to the other one and I'm going to give the rest of them to the, to the other tabby slime who also wants to consume... If, if Tabby Slime wants to consume, we will let them. I will not stop them from consumption. Consumption is a right that we all have. We all have the right to consume. So let's see. Let's do the small ones. How much more do you need? Oh, we got it. Perfect. Explosion. More Tabby Slimes. Tabby, Tabby, Tabby Slime. Yeah. Yep, and that's a little, um... That's a little transportation area. Nice. I got more hens. Got more hens. Nice. Oh, I transported back. Oh, oh, I can go back and forth. I'm gonna go this way. I'll go back this way in a moment because I need to 
Go to the other tabby slime, which is up in this direction. You've got your pre-workout made, the Freza socks on, and your hats. You're pretty much all ready to go. Dude, that pre-workout ritual. I feel that. My... I don't really have a pre-workout ritual, but I have... I, but I've been trying to do, actually, is trying to give myself, like, a pre-stream ritual. Because I feel like I'm more energetic for it if I get into, like, the zone beforehand. Give me, give me, give me, give me him. Oh, I can't get him. Oh, lovely. You look happy. But I feel that. I used to do... I, I don't I don't really work out a lot nowadays, but I used to work out quite a bit with a, with a pal of mine. Um, we would do that. But he would... He, it was my, my Navy friend. He would do his own workout, and he's like, I can get you fit too. And I was like, really? You can? It's tough training on the, the, the routine of somebody who's been training for the Navy for the past four years. So that's kind of an echelon above, but I was I was able to keep up, and I was very proud of myself, and he was very proud of me too. He's the same guy who will answer any other questions I have about sports and whatnot. Oh no, there's a drink mix called pre-workout. Oh, interesting. Like an alcoholic pre-workout mix? Oh, interesting. I wonder if there's there's probably a drink out there called the pre-workout. Bet. Bet. I bet. I bet. And we must have it. Get some of these get some of these guys. More beets, more beets, more beets. You know, what other slimes eat vegetables? I don't know of any other slimes that eat vegetables. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, no, no, no! No, come back. Come back, come back, come back. I want you back. I want you back, slime. There we go. I did not mean to do that. Oh, my God. Whoopsie. Drink dr drink mix called pre-workout. I gotcha, I gotcha. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know I know what you mean. It's the pro it's the protein mix. It's the protein mix for the pre-work. The pre-workout. That you put into, like, thing and it becomes, like, a protein shake. Or something like that. I was also thinking when you mentioned pre-workout, I also thought of like the pre-workout ritual as well. That's what came to mind at least. Yeah, you're gonna go more phosphorus slimes. There will eventually be a limit where I cannot have more phosphorus slimes. I have not yet reached that limit. I'm happy about that. Oh, eat in there. I need more cube berries. I need more cubes. The world must have more cubes. I want it. I'm trying to think of things. What I'm thinking about right now is other things that I can do now that my fiance is not home. I have to plan these things out. There are only certain things that I can do. There are only some things that I can do when she's not around. For example, work on our my anniversary present for her. It's a cute little thing, and I can't give too much details. However, I will say... Uh, I, oh, I gotta deposit my things over here. But I was working on it a bit before stream today, and basically I got the idea from the internet. And the fa I, I know she said she's lurking, but she could very well be listening in right now, so I'm not gonna say any more details upon it that would give it away. But it's an idea that I found, and I was kind of debating on what the implementation of it was going to be like it's a little it's a little art design thing but i don't exactly know what to put it on like i don't want to put it on paper i don't want to put it on cardboard i was considering maybe 3d printing it but that might take a little bit of time and it may not be exactly what i what i want what i intend it to be but then again it could be pretty cool pretty cool maybe Sort of. So it's a drink mix of chemicals and minerals designed to prep your muscles to be ready for the gym so it takes less time to get warmed up. All right, all right. Sounds... I've never actually had... I know other uh, uh, fraternity pals of mine who has had... Who has attempted to explain, like, pre-workout to me and whatnot. Uh, uh, treading some shifty waters, indeed. I don't want to... I'm make, gonna make sure... Gotta make sure that uh, Anna does not find out about what the thing is. I almost found out about what her gift was for me. I almost, I almost did. I almost found it. I almost got it. But uh, eventually she whipped it away from me fast enough that I, I, I couldn't see what it was. How much, how much time am I working with? Like how much time for what exactly? Like for the stream stuff or like how much time I've got to make the gift? Technically I've got a week to make the gift and I don't exactly know how much I'll be streaming longer for. I, I don't really know. I'm having a good time right now so I might be going for a little while longer. But for the, for the gift, we decided actually, so the anniversary was yesterday, right? And both of us were like, we mutually agreed that the our anniversary presents for each other were not going to be done by the anniversary. So we both shook on it and we were like, you know, we will give each other another week until we get back to figure out 
the rest of the the gift. And so I actually I actually came up with something else. I what I had done was I remembered something. I remembered something that I had found inside. I'm an, I'm an electronics kind of guy. I got a lot of spare electronics around here. And I recall something that I found inside of one of my electronics that I thought would make a perfect medium for this gift that I want to set up for her. And so that's what I that's what I have been working. I, what I had done before the stream started was I took apart my electronics so that I have ample material to work with. And now I am creating a stencil of the design as well so that I have something to very easily transfer things for. She'll still never be able to guess what she'll still won't be able to guess what it is, honestly, because I have not given any inkling of what the stencil is. What type of also she doesn't know enough about electronics to be able to know like what it is that I'm talking about, but there is a certain material that you can find in some electronics that you can use. It's it's very cool looking. I will not describe it at all, except it can sound funny if you use it a certain way. And it has a very it has a desirable quality for this particular um, illustration here. For this particular project, it'll be very, it'll be exactly what I want it to be. It has a consistency that I like. <laughs> I gotta change topic. I gotta change topic. I gotta stop talking about this anniversary gift that I'm going on. Um, let's see. Let's, uh, let's consult the list. What's on the list? I was thinking about the Discord. I gotta think of more things. Now that we've got the Discord up and running, I gotta think of things to put on the Discord. I saw before that Anna shouted at me to put a cosplay channel in there. What I was thinking of is, in recent years, <laughs> what I wanted to do was find, like, like create a space, almost, that I would be able to just kind of showcase various things that me and my fiance and the community wind up doing together and i thought like a website would be a really really cool place for that and well yes absolutely a website is a really really good place for that um it's got a really really good place for it there is also like i think the discord would be a really really close place to make some whoa that is a cliff holy shit okay not going that way um but that might be a really really cool place to be able to put some stuff on there like whether it be um, stream related things or art related things I like to draw sometimes uh, we like to me and Anna like to cosplay sometimes we like to cosplay with the friends as well and that I think that would be a really cool place to kind of put that and anybody else who is of like minded as well anybody else who does like art and anybody else who cosplays or does like cocktails and stuff like a cocktail channel would be crew cool I'd love to put that stuff on there you see that I play some Sonic I have played so I really like Sonic the Hedgehog games I'm a I'm a I'm a big fan of Son of the Hedgehog. I really, I, I really must admit that. I don't, I think, don't think I've played, let's see, what, what Sonic games have I played? I completely played through Sonic Generations. I have played through Sonic Adventure 2 Battle more times than I can count and have another playthrough going on right now. Honestly, what I want to do is I want to start up another playthrough on there just so I can, I want to be able to get on video like the Chow Garden and how much I, I love being able to take care of the little Chows and whatnot. But yeah, the Arts and Crafts page would be really cool. Or Arts and Crafts channel on the Discord, or even an Arts and Crafts page on a website. The, we the website is a lot more difficult to flesh out, I think. So in the meantime, I am more than happy to kind of take... Oh, I can't absorb water. Unfortunate. So the Discord's a really nice place to kind of get the ideas all in. It'll, be, it'll give me an opportunity to put all of the ideas in one place. And then be able to, it'll give me a jump starting place to be able to help with the, uh, the website stuff later on. Adventure 2 Battle, going back to the Sonic topic, favorite. It is, it is also one of my, it's my favorite Sonic game. I loved, I put so much time into that game when I was younger. Also, also too, the, um, the music from that game is awesome, uh, to the point where I actually, my, my father's a musician, or one of the things he does is music for those stuff, and the guy who sings, um, uh, Escape from the City, uh, Ted Poley. We, I actually I know him personally. He's one of my dad's friends, actually. <laughs> it's, so uh, I've met him. And once I, I have a distinct, a distinct memory when I was younger is I was hanging in my room. I was hanging in the living room playing Adventure 2 Battle with my brother on the GameCube on a little CRT television. And my dad comes in and he's like, by the way, guys, you cool that you're playing that game. I want you to meet somebody. And I was like, oh, who could it possibly be? And Ted Poley walks into our house and he's like yeah i'm a really good friend of your dad's and i was like wait but who are you and he starts singing escape from the city right in front of us i was like 
oh my god you're the guy who sings from the game that me and my brother love so much i love escape from the city i love your work and so he's he's done like uh, he's done a bunch of other things for sonic as well but that's like the most prominent one in my mind and that was one of my favorite stages too is like i feel like it was like one of the flagship like songs of that game i don't remember the game coming out i was too young at the time to be able to 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 like kind of know when it was coming out and be able to know what the advertisements were at the time if there were advertisements for it but i recall that game being like the one that stuck out most of my memory probably because it's the first basically the first song that you experience in the game technically the second one because you've got sonic's theme first and then you go into escape from the city actually after you get into the actual stage itself but semantics but that was a super duper cool experience i've also noticed as well in recent years as i listen to a lot of the music on spotify and whatnot and i get to see like what the artists are i see we, i see like um crush 40s the guy who the, apparently the, the band who did a lot of the music for sonic adventure 2 battle and sonic adventure as well or um jun uh, sinue i believe is like the 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 guitar player who is very prominently um showcased on a lot of the sonic games and apparently uh i'm not i'm not sure i, I cannot go into more detail about it oh my god that just totally no please Oh my god, I got the box. I can't go into much detail about it, but needless to say, apparently, Jun Sunyui, uh, or Jun, I think it's Jun or Jun Sunyui, is not on good terms with Ted because of some licensing stuff. Whoa, where am I? This is new. It is pretty cool. I'm 22. Uh, I am 23, actually. I will be 20 and 24 in, um, in November. So I am very, very, very close. Very, very close. But I'm 23. I am 23 years young. And so, but yeah, I don't, um, so that game came out in 90, something that, was that a, was that an early 2000 game? That might have been an early 2000 game or a, um, <gasps> Pond Slimes! Yay! I found Pond Slimes! I can set up a pond for the Puddle Slimes, excuse me. Water Slimes. But I love that game. That was one of the games that I played the shit out of because, oh my god, I just I loved it so, so very much. Love that so, so very much. The, also, oh, I, I didn't mention it enough. If I haven't mentioned it enough already, the Chow Garden, I think, was my most favorite part of that. Also, I got confused when eventually I started playing Sonic DX. I played that after Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, so for some reason I was like, oh, this game comes after, right? No, that one... I mean, maybe it came after for the GameCube, but like that game sonic adventure obviously came out before sonic adventure 2 and the chow garden of that was pretty cool but Ch second adventure 2 that was even better plus plus like i don't play it on gamecube much anymore but i have it on steam as well i put a lot of hours into that one i think and you can like i, I think i have installed the uh the chow garden mod where it makes the chow garden bigger and it makes rearing chows a lot more like i guess a little more involved I, I like that type of stuff. I like that sort of... I've always appreciated the challenge of trying to get, like, whatever the type of chow that you wanted, like a chaos chow or something like that at the very end. For, for those who aren't necessarily familiar, a chow is, like, the little cute creature in the Sonic the Hedgehog universe. In Sonic Adventure 2, there was a little area that you could go to to raise chows. And throughout every single level, you would find these things called chaos drives, and chaos drives would have different attributes aspects about them whether it was for power or a uh, flying ability or running ability for speed the chows would actually change their shape and depending on what type of chow it was change their color as well depending on what type of attributes you have given them and raised them on also you could find like a, oh look at you who's gonna eat everything you could also find animals out in the stages as well that you would come back and you can give your chows like certain benefits by giving them these animals because the animals had certain traits about them as well like fly or this that and the other thing that you could also get from chaos drives but you could also give them that as well and if you fed them a an animal they might actually get like a certain animal aspect to them like if you feed them um i think the ghost cow they would um they would get they would lose their feet and they become like ghosts um i think if you fed them a kappa they might get a little flame on top of their head i love that stuff and hey don't worry about it pirate you pirated your copy you know whatever that's fine as long as we all get to enjoy the game i think but when you get when you, you get back we could do a stream race about it would you be down to do that sure absolutely you mean like who can get through to the end the fastest 
Access, I would love that. That could be fun. I could love to do something like that. That'd be so fun to set up, too. I've never done something like that. Yeah, I like that idea. I'm totally down for that. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that down so I don't forget about it because I may forget about that. S A to stream race with Ethereum. I like that idea. I've never done something like that before. I am very, I am in recent years trying to be very, very yes manny. Like, yes, we are going to do that. I like that. So long as somebody holds me to it. If somebody can hold me to it, it is bound to happen. But something like that may be something that's just interesting enough for me to be like, oh my god, I gotta, I gotta put in the effort for this. This is so cool. I like that. Is that something that happens like normally? You know, it doesn't matter if it's not something that happens normally. It happens because it's going to happen. That's, that's why. I like that. Oh, I dropped my... No! I dropped this! No! Aw. I think the only thing that I know similar to that is, like, like, I guess, speedrunners, almost. I've never been quite of a speedrunner. Although, I guess it'd be pretty fun, fun to speed there in that game. I feel like I'm more or less familiar enough with it to be able to, like, exploit some of the secrets and whatnot, because I'm not... I'll admit, in, in one spade, in one stage in particular, not the... I know there's a... In the stage crazy gadget... I think there was actually a a way to skip basically the entire level. I don't know about that particular exploit, but I know like in the sky, in the, um, not sky rail, but one of the space stages, like final rush or something like that, you can basically jump all the way down and land on the rails that are at the bottom. And it's, it can be faster than just going down the rails themselves or the other like secrets that exist way all about. There's so many secrets in that game that I always loved, like, finding out about because you didn't know because the 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 levels despite having a very linear nation uh linear path about them also had some very non-linear aspects to it as well you could complete the stage in multiple different ways kind of like how you could in sonic generations which was really really fun as well get some beats it's a little bit of a setup but you can help me with it cool cool i'm pretty good on the on the technical side of things i i know if i may toot my own horn there but like i know um if we wanted to have, like, both of our setups on the same screen, I've done stuff like that. If we wanted to have, like, you and I split screen on the same time on both of our streams, I know of, I know ways to do that in Discord. You can do that in, I think, uh, there's, a, there's a program I think would probably work better called, o, or it's a software, no, it's a website called OBS Ninja, which I have played around with before. Haven't played around with it a lot, but I know that works. Oh, you're already exploding. Perfect. Awesome. Well, give me your slimes so I can send you all off in the, another direction. Explode. Explosion. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. No! You ate it! How dare you? No. Got it. How dare you? Get. 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 Go on. Get. No. Get out of here. Go on. Get. Get out of here. Explode this next one. Boop. A little tabby slime. It's the money that I care about. It's all about the money. And these guys I can use for the... Oh, no, no, I already, I already exploded that tabby slime. What was that sound? What was that sound? What the hell was that sound? I heard like a poop poop. Oh, no, 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 that was the sound of me getting the key. Uh, duh. <laughs> oh, man. I almost got myself there. You've got no idea how to do it with the split screen, but you got to get going and would love to talk more about that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Enjoy the rest of your workout. Thank you so much for popping on in, Astro. I look forward to being able to plan this stream race with you later. We can, I can, I can take care of uh, at least that sort of facilitation with it. I've done it before and I can do it again, so I'd be happy to. Back to the Slime Rancher. I love, I, I love to talk more about Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, though. I have, I, that was one of my games that I spent, like, so much time in in my in like i want to say in my childhood but it is that portion of my childhood has, has extended into my adulthood which is a wonderful thing because you know you don't need to necessarily be adult ish for every single point of your adult life like have a little bit of kid left in you i'm damn proud that i still love to play these games that i've been playing since i was a kid they give me such nostalgia hell uh the other day I was doing a Super Mario Sunshine screen stream. Why? Because I love that game so much. And I played it for like almost 12 hours. And I had one of the best times with it. I, I loved it so much. And I had such a good time. And I'd love to do something like that again for something like that. I mean, I feel that that particular game, um, Adventure 2 Battle, has a lot more to it that could extend beyond just the regular playthrough. For example, the Chow Garden that comes out after that. I would spend hours going back and forth from the stages to try to rear my chows to be exactly what I want them to be 
Um, and this was before I started using the internet to kind of give me the idea of what it was. Like, well, as soon as when I when I became a little more familiar with like how to be able to find the content on the internet, I was able to find that, you know, that Chaos Chows existed. I had never found that the Chaos Chow existed. And as, as like to explain that a little bit farther, there's a certain transformation. Like eventually, your Chow will die, and it will go in its little cocoon. And after it gets to this point, if you've ra if you've raised it properly, then it will either transform or it will die. It may, and I think if you reset your, if you close the game out and turn it back in again, it rolls the dice every single time. So if it died that time, you could always go out, go back in again, at least in the GameCube version, to try to roll the dice one more time because you don't want to kill your chow if you did it bad. But I think if they reincarnated and came back of new life three times then they would, depending on how you raise them, whether their alignment was neutral, um, neutral dark or an angel chow, neutral dark or good, because there are three different, there are three different alignments for these chows as well, and technically three, there's two different alignments of characters, there are good characters and there's bad characters, and depending on who you give, who gives the most love to these chows, they will be basically assigned to one of those or neither, uh, alignment. I was always, I always liked the, um, the neutral chows the most. I think they had the most color variation. But there were these whole sets of transformations and stuff for all of the different types of chows. And it was really, really cool. And I would spend hours just trying to rear up the chow garden, putting some stuff on there. And I, I loved doing that. It reminds me of a game like where I am in Minecraft currently. Where I am currently in the Minecraft mod pack game that I play is there's no real goal. You just keep on playing. You kind of make your own goal. The game doesn't end until I tell it that it's going to end. And there are always improvements that I feel like I could be making. Like, don't get me wrong. Sonic the Hedgehog game from the GameCube is a little bit different than that. But there comes a certain point in some games where, like, the game just keeps on going. It, it doesn't stop for you. It doesn't have to unless you tell yourself to stop. There's this game that's also for the GameCube that uh, my buddy Lycos Lore... Um, told me about that he played a lot when he was younger called Amazing Island. And on Amazing Island, apparently, this is a game for the GameCube, on Amazing Island, you would create these creatures. And the creatures you create, there was a lot of creature customizability to it. We played it quite a bit. I think he and I played Amazing Island a little bit and we recorded a little bit of it to test out his um, recording setup when he first got that. Um, but so we did, we did that. And basically you could come up with there are a ton of different ways to like customize your uh, imagine if spore was on spore is another game where you can create like these uh creatures and stuff like that but if you if you're more familiar with that imagine spore on the gamecube and instead of like going on and trying to evolve and eventually becoming like going through different stages of i guess evolution and stuff instead what you're doing is you are doing like a bunch of mini games and stuff and trying to save the land from the evil forces that B. And that was really, really cool. The, I think what uh, was really amusing, I think the most amusing about it <laughs> to us was the whole character customizability or the, the monster or creature customizability. There was so much customizability to those, to those creatures. It was, it was absolutely, absolutely insane. You could give them like different, like you could change their voice. You could change their body type. You could change their color. You could make custom, you could even color things differently it was it was really really cool i would definitely recommend and anybody who's into like spore and whatnot potentially check out amazing island for the gamecube and i'm sure there are ports for that there are most definitely ports for that most definitely but i would definitely 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 recommend checking that out if you're into that kind of stuff you know what i wish to, you know what i wish to do i wish uh i think what i should also have on the discord channel as well is to add like a recommendations channel because i oftentimes come up with games that i either haven't played myself or really really want to play and i feel i feel as if like a channel for that would be really really nice to kind of get all of what i could what i could need for that in one place and may i digress for a moment these puddle slimes are so freaking cute oh my god they were like like in the water now because we're water slimes that was so cute i apparently can't do anything else but let them sit there so no upgrade available the tank booster mark three very cool I have all this money, so I think what I should do as well, and the plorts are gonna get sucked up. I'll wait till the... I await your plorts. 
I wait the plots. Give me your plots. Fossil plots. Plenty of plots in there. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Give me that. And then I'll wait for the other ones to come in. Suck them all up. Suck up the plots. Can I, can I like manually activate the suckage? Oh, there we go. I clicked that button to manually activate the suckage. Nice. Oh, and there's one more. Perfect. Go to head on back over here. Bogo fruit and a thing. I think what I should do mostly is I should add... I gotta fig figure out how to methodically store... Um, for example, one of the things that you can do in in Slime Ranch is you can combine the different types of slimes together, If in case you don't already know. Um, but what you can do is you can use that to your advantage. Like, for example, I might want to m combine the pink slimes with the tabby slimes because I don't have a lot of the... I don't have a lot of... They're very hungry over there, so they're going to try to break that thing up top. But I might not have all of the 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 meat resources to be able to feed them all the time. Because clearly I don't really have a lot over here. I could probably use an upgrade. Anything? High walls? Hey, that doesn't really help me right now. Um, but you can use those to be able to feed like these. These guys eat everything. And if I combine them with them, then they will also be able to eat everything and also produce more of the tabby, the, the tabby plorts. Which will make things convenient for me if I ever need tabby plorts. Now I know at least when I saw my, my uh, buddy Christina playing this game a little while ago, I realized that apparently there is a crafting system now in this game where you can use different plorts and stuff and make them into... I don't... I don't know. I'm new to that. It seems... It's very, very new to me. Oh, that's already... Oh, there are a lot of plorts in there. Can I not suck them up the other way? Nope, I gotta do it this way. Sucking on up the plorts! There's so many plorts. All the plorts everywhere. Over the plorts and everywhere. I wonder how much money I'll get from this. I wonder... I suppose we'll see. But alas, we'll just enjoy our time on the far, far range and try to make as much money as possible. What is the time now? It's about 10.30. Not too bad. I'm giving just fine over here, honestly. I, um, I'm not sure when the latest I would go is. I, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go until I stop, really. I don't really know. I don't really have an intended time to stop. I was honestly, I was actually kind of on the fence of whether I wanted to stream today or not and the reason i was kind of on the fence about that was because i got a lot of i got a lot of things in my head i've got a lot of things that i really want to put down on paper and by put on paper i mean like implement kind of put into action right now one of those things is like i want to work on some stream stuff i've got some um like being able to get more familiar with with the gimp program to make more thumbnails being able to get more familiar with the the program that i use to edit my videos now is something it's a free program called davinci resolve so i want to become more familiar with on that drinks are on me if you can get these things in a hurry yeah i can can i do that oh, beats and, and a rooster yeah i can do that very easily oh but i ran out of beats so i can get you at least here come here rooster you're mine now uh but yeah that and I also want to I the the um, the dis the Discord server that I will be linking to this particular uh, to, to this particular channel here that we have for the for everybody here will be I hope we're getting a complete revamp. I want to work on some bots for it. I got to work on the organization for it. There's also I had mentioned before my fiance's um, my fiance's anniversary project that I got to work on. It's I've got some pieces together for it, and I'm very much looking forward to be able to work on that. One of the things that I, I guess, I really like doing, I didn't realize that I was this kind of person until around the end of high school. And what I discovered in high school was my ability to hyper-focus and be able to use that in a constructive way. One of the things that I feel that I can, and there are a lot of people who can do this as well, but I, it's just something that was new to me at the time that I didn't realize that I could do. It started when... Um, I made some of the first, when I, when I started working more in my father's workshop that's in the basement. We, he, we have a ton of spare wood, and what I like to do with this, what I like to do with the spare wood, what I decided to do one time was I wanted to make like these wooden things of my favorite characters from whatever video game I was coming up with at the time. And I still, I have those tools on me and I could do it. I'm just like afraid to make a noise, but some of the characters that I've made, you may have noticed over here. Can you see that from here? You can kind of see it, but I'll, I'll bring this guy up. Uh, one of the guys that I made was this little, uh, this little papyrus guy from, from Undertale. 
put that up there. But I made this guy out of wood in my parents' basement. But this took like a really long time to do, of course. And but it was it was really really cool, and I felt that I could spend the time on it. But what I mean by when I was talking about hyper focusing was that I felt like I almost I could sit there and do something for hours at a time hours at a time like I could sit there for four plus hours six plus hours just working on something until I get it done or until I eventually break and do something else uh, I suppose it's probably already obvious I if anybody has ever popped on before I kind of I stream for a very very long time sometimes I'm not the I get on for a half hour kind of guy I am a I get on and attempt to be on for at least two or three hours um so that's something that I like to do and I consider that to be in my hyper focus mode because normally I'm not the kind of person who can really focus on one thing at a time and I guess to be honest streaming doesn't count because I am not doing one thing at a time. What I am doing is not only playing the game, but I am also just kind of speaking my mind and giving narrations or interacting with whoever might be around and interact with at the time. While I'm doing other things, for example, when I was early, uh, earlier when I was working on my fiance's anniversary present for seven years, I was, was uh, just kind of watching anime. I had anime going on in the background and I was working on the project because I find, a I have a very hard time focusing on one thing at a time because when i when i'm doing one thing i feel like i could also be doing another thing at the same time so in that way i would consider myself to be a multitasker not multitasker in the way that i'm doing a bunch of things at the same time but i'm splitting my focus so that i can focus on one thing and then i can focus on the other uh, i was watching anime while working the pre the anniversary present before so like i know exactly what i what i what i want it to be I know exactly how I want to do things for the most part. At least I would know what design I want uh, for my stencil. So I can just keep going at it. That is a very... I can put a part of my brain on autopilot. And the autopilot works on, let's say, the stencil in this case. Or painting the colors on one of those wood things. Or cutting the, uh, the, cutting the wood to be the correct size. Or something like that. That can be wrong. There's only so much autopilot that you should be on. If you're working with a saw that is moving... You can very much hurt yourself, so always, you know, of course, practice safety. I don't think there's much safety that I have to practice, at least for the stream side of things, because I'm not sure how much I can hurt myself by talking so much, unless I talk too much. And there's, I'm not sure exactly how much I can hurt by just playing video games. My, my eyes sometimes get a little tired, but if they do, I have glasses specifically for that. So you gotta, you gotta cover all your bases. You gotta cover all your bases to make sure you're doing things okay. You gotta take care of yourself as a person. You don't want to take care of yourself in general. I mean, you're not taking care of yourself, like, that's so sad. You should take care of yourself. Hey, what was I talking about? I don't know what I was even talking about anymore. But yes, being- oh yes, I under, I remember now. Being able to, like, multitask is something that I pride myself on doing. Whenever it came to schoolwork, whenever I did school stuff, I was able to focus on- it, it, it's a little less extreme, I think, but- the ability to be able to work on one school project and another school project at the same at the same time. I'll have one that, No, oh my god! Did you just come out of the water? Don't come out of the water! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. So sorry, my little friend. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Don't hurt yourself. But being able to work on a project for one class while also being able to work on another project for another class at the same time. And whether that means writing code for one project to do like a big data haul, running that in the background, and then working on a report on the other side. Or just watching the lectures to one class while also, work, while also working on a project for another class was something that I really like to do because it feels like it keeps me busy. I'm the kind of person who I really, really like to keep myself busy if I can. And one of the things to keep me busy is to do more things. If I'm doing more things, it keeps me more occupied and I feel like there's less time for me to not be doing something. I was I was saying to my fiance the other way, a red slime, a natural evolution, or result of exposure to foreign matter. I don't know, I don't have red slimes for you. I got phosphor slimes, rock slimes, and tabby slimes. So let's get some of those. I'll grab some for you. 
uh, four slimes. But I was saying to just my fiance just the other day, she's like, so what are you going to do while I'm gone? She went home for a break, so she just finished her term. I just graduated from college, and she just finished her next term at college. She'll be starting again in a week, but she's going to spend her break at home. And I'm going to spend the beginning of my graduation here in my very comfortable environment with all my tools and stuff to be able to kind of figure out, well, what comes next? What should I, what should I do? What kind of projects can I work on? And um, while also feeling like I'm not being idle. I don't want to feel like I'm, I'm idle. And idle can mean a lot of different things. I, idle could mean that I am sitting there and, and, and I mean, over the, over the years, I have been able to convince myself that more and more things are not idling around. For example, I had to con there was a point where I had tried to convince myself that taking a break and relaxing is not idling. What are you doing? Oh, I'm doing nothing. No, I'm not doing nothing. I am relaxing. It is a part of the process of which to do pretty much anything. If I don't relax, I burn myself out. And I don't really want to get burned out. I felt burnout before. And that was not a very pleasant feeling. I pushed myself way too hard last year. And it kind of opened my eyes to, like, a lot of things. One of them including, like, I should be doing things that, like, I really, really enjoy doing or things that I could potentially enjoy doing to affect the world more so than myself and one of the things was uh, I, I like to think that the stream stuff here affects more people than just me um, that so far kind of remains to be seen but it's a, it's a goal for things one day to be able to have this hobby be something that affects people in at least a positive way to you know maybe like I don't, I don't really know I've kind of talked about that before so I, I need not get too far into it but um I don't want to be idle. Like I was saying before, I don't really want to be idle in things. And if I'm idling around, not doing something, it means I could be doing something else. And now that I have been able to convince myself that, for example, sitting around and doing nothing or sitting around and planning something is not idling around, it is kind of opened up my, it kind of keeps me busy. This, this, my definition of busy all the time, because I want to be busy all the time. If I can be I'm busy in a way like, you know, I have something to do that makes me feel productive. Relaxing around makes me feel productive. Listening to music makes me feel productive. Or at least it's something that I've convinced myself over the years that is productive in some way, shape, or form. And there are, to me, different types of productivity. My productivity could be the fact that I am making content. For example, what is occurring right now is content creation. There is content being created that I will be able to, I and everybody else, my family members, community members, and friends alike will be able to go back and enjoy in the future, hopefully, for the rest of my life. And maybe something that I will be able to leave as a legacy behind me for my children to be able to experience one day. I don't think they'd want to sit through hours of their future father rambling on about their thoughts, but there could be something in the future that I, I don't know maybe there's something in the future that will be able to take these and turn like you know you could transcribe the words and whatnot and it could become like just the ramblings of a person like published into a book or something that will live on for something for somebody else to be able to look back on and be like i remember this guy somehow and this guy and the people who were uh, who he surrounded themselves with will be remembered for history and i believe that that's sort of like a sort of an illusion of grandeur like the whole like everybody wants to rule the world thought like i mean everybody wants to rule the world in their own way it'd be really cool to rule the world in that regard that is ten thousand. the lab to begin career as an amateur unlicensed slime scientist you know what i will save up for that i will save up for that i have a couple of slime keys where i can um do i can extend to more areas so i will go exploring a little bit i need getting more water Yeah, drink me more water. How much is this over here? 17,000. Eh. I could do without that out for the now. Oh, I should get some myself some more upgrades. I'll buy myself some more upgrades so I can explore for longer. Like tank booster mark two. A power, uh, let's see, water tank, might as well. Pulse wave, might as well. Heart module, so do that. And power core. Nice, got them all. Now I got that. A blast of fresh water will calm down any slime for a short while or dissolve terrible, terrible tar slimes. I knew about that already. I think in terms of upgrades, previously, I got up to this point. Oh, look at y'all over here. Y'all looking so happy. Go ahead, eat, the, eat them all. Make some plorts. 
There's so many of you. Oh my god. It's so cute. All right. Time to take you all back to the farm. Take you all back to the ranch. We got things for you. We got a place for you at the ranch. Do you want to... Are you a slime who doesn't know where your next direction in life is? Are you feeling a little soft? Maybe feeling a little too firm in recent months? Well, don't worry. The far, far range, my little ranch over here, is for you. Why? I don't, I don't know. Free food is a little like that. You'll enjoy yourself. It'll be a good time. You'll, you'll enjoy yourself. You'll find meaning in life. You'll find food for yourself. Probably. Maybe. Unless you're a tabby slime who eats meat and that camera doesn't produce enough meat. I never produce enough meat. I don't think I ever produce enough meat. Here, you guys, you guys can eat this. Have a good time. Eat a little carotin. Eat all the carrots. Put my phosphorus slimes away. I'll admit, I was not planning on sp spending a lot of time playing um, Slime Rancher, honestly. This was kind of a spur-of-the-moment decision sometime last week. It was late in the night. I had been very, very busy that day, and I was very, very tired. And I thought, you know, what's something that's, like, really... What is something that is incredibly relaxing for me to play? Like, this game is very, very relaxing for me. I don't think there is anything about this game that stresses me out. It's very chill, feels very casual to me, and nothing about it gets me all like, yee. Star mail! Casey, read the big storm. I got your mail, of course. I remember that day. I feel like that was when you and I really connected. It was raining so hard that the streets were flooding and we took shelter in that cafe. It was like a scene from a movie, only we both looked like wet animals. And the guy running the shot was a real tyrant. The only way we could stay inside was by ordering one coffee after another after another. I felt like we learned more about each other that day than ever. Maybe it was the coffee because we were both talking really, really fast. I told you about my dreams, making music and all that, and at least that's how I remember it. Signed, Casey. Casey must be somebody very special to, to be over here. I don't know what the rooster or weather vane is, but I'll get it. Why not? Fence upgrade? I'll do that one. One more. Yeah. I don't know what path upgrade is. So, Roostro Weather Vane? Oh, it's a... Oh. Oh, these are for my house. This is for my house. What else did I upgrade? I don't remember what it was that I upgraded. That second upgrade. I don't remember what it was, but I got this Weather Vane now. I can go up on top of my... Can I go up on top of my house? Can I, can I do something with that? Yeah, I can't make it spin. Okay, well, it's pointing that way. Not sure how important that is. Oh, is there another treasure cube up here? Is it another thing? What could I do with that? Oh, that's like a satellite. Uh, I thought it was another treasure thing or whatever. What else can I find up on top of here? Can I skip my way over? <laughs> I cannot. I cannot skip my way over. That is something I did not know about. Haha, <laughs> would you look at that? Oh, Google is telling me that my bedtime is soon. I've been using like a new uh, feature that I didn't know about on Google. And it's like you can set a bedtime for yourself and it'll make your screen go all black and white. I'm not going to do that now. Otherwise, I won't be able to like look at my, um, I won't be able to look at my phone and check things up. So I will, nope, I don't want the, nope, no bedtime. Google, Google, no bedtime, please. Uh, nope, no. Nope. Okay, fine. Whatever. I'll take care of that later then. What's down here? Ho oh, ho! I've been here before. What is this though? Oh, is this another area to unlock? Can I unlock it now? I cannot. It's the docks. I cannot unlock the docks yet. But I should go back over here and go to where that first tabby slime... Oh, yes, exactly right here, because there was a gate on the other side that I will be able to open now. And I think the rad slimes are on the other side, if I'm correct in saying. Is this the right area? Am I thinking of the right place? I think I am. So let's go over here. Let's go around. La, 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 la. Like that. Oh, I did manage to open up the thing. Uh, can I just turn that off for now? I just want to turn off my nighttime. Nope, can I... No, I don't know anything. I guess I'll just turn it off when it turns back on again. Whatever. Oh, whatever. I don't need to worry about going to bed just yet. I'm a growing boy. I should stay up and not sleep and deprive myself of all things that would help me grow into a stronger boy. Slime key, unlock the door! The door has been unlocked. Let's move along ahead. Moss blanket. There are a lot of... Look at that. Actually, I, could, I forget. I can look at my map. How much of the map have I discovered so far? Ah, is that so? And there's that area over there. I don't know what that area over there is. That's cool. But there's plenty to uh, to explore up there. And I'm in new areas in the moss blankets. So that's pretty cool. I've been here in the in my previous playthrough. 
This is not the first time um, here uh, I'm being here. It's night. There's another Hobson down there. Another Hobson way more, waypoint. The first time I went exploring the moss blanket, I got stuck here, so I constructed a way out. It's just up yonder. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you, Sir Hobson. I'm here for more things. For example, I'm here for more uh, water slimes. I got you. I got you. Oh, and explosive. Yes. Oh, you're pink boom Largo. You're already boomy Largos. Aw, where are the small booms? Where are the small boomies at? I missed the tiny little boomies. Unfortunate. Are you? You're not small boomy. Aw. I can get magma slime. I can get uh, magma ports though. By doing this. Pogo fruit. Eat it. Oh, wait, are you at. No, you're pink boom Largo. Yeah, eat that. Oh, you're already full? Incredible. Uh oh. Uh oh. Tar time. Where'd you go? Where's the where's the tar at? Where's the tar sound? Where'd the tar tank go? Oh, magma slime. Yes. Give me. Boom slime. Boom slime. That's it. That's a boom slime. Boom mix slimington. Got another boom slime? Got another boom slime. Boom slime. Boom slime. They like fruits? I can't remember, honestly. Oh. There was a thing. I think I remember. The shrooms. There was something with the shrooms. But what was it about the shrooms? And then corn. Something about shrooms and corn, maybe. I forgot what it was, but I remember. Something... I should consider those shrooms. Consider them carefully. They may be important later on. More poco fruit? More poco fruit. Oh. Yes? Oh. Oh, the music got all different. Hello, you. Hello, everybody over here, the roosters. Oh, very wonderful. I think what I'm going to try to do, as it's getting a little late, I'm going to try to ease my voice down. Just a little bit. Oh, look, another area to go with this line key. So I will use that and make my way forward. Perhaps I'll find something else inside of here. Nah, take it back. I'm just gonna keep on doing what I'm doing. Oh, it's like a little temple. Ooh. You make me think that you want a pink plort. Something about the way... I don't know what it is. What is this? Oh, it's a little... It looks like... Oh, it kind of looks like a, uh, kind of looks like a tar slime. Something about the way you look. Something about your whole aesthetic makes me think that you want a pink plort. So I will find you a pink plort. I will go back real quick and obtain for you a pink plort. There's pink slimes everywhere. And the music got all like, uh, do-do-do, like marimba-ish, I guess. Oh, there's a pink plort down there. Give me, give me. Uh, actually, I want to throw my pogo fruits down there to give you more. Room for... Nope, didn't want Tabby Slime. I wanted the plort. I don't know exactly how many plorts I need. Eat that. Yeah. You're happy now. Are you happy now? Are you happy now? Maybe. Hey, whoa! Where'd you come from? Hey. That's cool. The plorts. I don't know if I need one plort over there, or if I need to bring a few of them. I'm not so sure. So we'll find out. If it takes one, then perfect. That's easy enough. It's just a matter of getting a plort and bringing it over here, I guess. We'll see. And then I guess I'll unlock that temple, perhaps. Nope. Oh. Oh! Oh. Maybe that's the example. It's got the pink slime eyes. So... Okay, I see. You've got, like, sandstone eyes. I see. Ah, oh, look at that! Yeah, if you unlock them all... I feel like you need to be pink, or, or uh, boom slime, I think. Let me check my slimepedia, actually, to make sure I remember what boom slime's like. I think it's fruit, right? I like meat. Favorite is the briar hen. So let me actually, let me go back. There were some hens over here. There was some meat over here that I could grab. So I'll go back over here, and I'll grab one of the hen hens. Uh, there should be at least one over here. I'll, I'll throw boom slime out. Let him eat it. Go ahead, eat. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, it's a briar hen. Eat that. No, I didn't want to do, 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 do go back. Here, I wanted to give you this. Here, take this, pal. Oh, you already ate it. Sweet. Well, okay. 
I'll take these boom plorts. And I'll take them back over here. It looked... I think this is the red plort it's looking for, perhaps? Is this the solution of the puzzle? Yeah, I'm not so sure. But I will try to find out as best as I can. So we can all get inside. Yeah, that was one. That was lovely sounding. They sung. It sang to me. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm guessing from the looks of it, there are some plorts that I don't recognize. I see like a tabby plort up there. Whatever the... Maybe it was a golden plort? Perhaps. I'm not so sure. But I guess I'll be coming back here when I got relevant plorts. Actually, I see a blue one over here. Oh, you've got... um. That's a rock plort. I can tell because it looks like a rock slime. But I'm going to try to put puddle plort anyway. Nope. Cool. Good to know. I wonder, does it look like there are puddle plorts up there? I don't know. This one looks like it's probably a rad slime. Yeah. Honey slime, probably. That's a honey slime. And I know those are found in the, the, um, the flower garden-like area. This is a phosphor slime, for sure. Okay, that won't be too bad. I just gotta come back with a couple of plorts. Oh, and I don't have another key for over here, so this is... So I'm locked here. I wonder if there are any other areas. I should totally come back for that. Cool. I haven't found a rad slime yet, and I haven't found the amber or the honey slimes yet. So those will be ones that I can't do just yet. But I can do these other ones. What about you over here? Are you another one as well? No, you're just like the big you're the big happy slime that greets everyone from coming into the temple. Like, welcome to the temple. I'm a slime. I wonder if there's a passageway up there. I can't get there just yet. But I wonder if I can parkour my way up to there and if there's another area to go to. Oh, and there's a there's the tabby slime over here. Yeah. Try to kind of try to parkour my way over there, maybe. Gonna get my stamina back, my thing. I got it up over here. Where can I go from here? I'm gonna try to see if I can get up there. It'd be cool if I could. Maybe I can. I don't know. Get on up. Get on up. Yes, I was able to get up there. Are there any secrets up here? Like, I don't know. Or is it just gonna be? Oh, there's a treasure pod, but I don't know how to unlock treasure pods yet. That's something I have not yet discovered how to do. That's new since my first playthrough. I got this, so I can hover on over here. Anything special up here? I'm guessing of the secrets that I can find, most of them are going to be treasure pods. Because I don't see really anything else over here. This is a cool little area to go to. Oh, yeah, there's the... I was like, oh, I found something new. Nope, it was just another treasure pod. Just another treasure pod. Just another treasure pod, which I can't use because I don't know how to open them. Treasure pot is locked. I don't know. I'll probably learn about that eventually. I'm sure of it. Something will eventually become clear to me to that will elucidate what it is that I gotta do. So I wanna get more boom slides if I can. Not a boom, boom, boom slime! Boom slime go boom! And boom plorts. I've gotten some more puddle plorts. That'll be good for my little thing. You are still big. Yeah. Water, 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 water. Go back down to size. I'll take your magma plorts, though. If you're having a good time over here. While you're having a good time, I'll take your plorts. Yeah, I'll take those off your hands. Like this one. Yeah. Oh, you know, there's, um, there's a tabby slime over here. So let me put you back in the water real quick. Let me take this. Uh, nope. I want to take this one. So I can put this over in the little in the area with the with the temple. So I don't forget about so I don't have to worry about the tabby slimes. Because it'll all be it'll already be there. And then I guess it'll almost get dark. Then the phosphor slimes will appear. Oh, what is this over here? I'm gonna go back to that. I didn't check that before. That's cute. It was a little stump. Perhaps I will find the stump. Uh where is the tabby slime? Ah, la 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 la, there's the rock slime. Where was the tabby slime? I think, was it up somewhere? It might have been up on a surface somewhere. Or around the corner. There was the boom slime. Tabby was not over here. This is the phosphor, that's the rad slime. Honey slime. Where's the tabby? I think the tabby slime might have been up there. Maybe? I do not remember. I do not remember where the Tabby Slime was. Is. So I'll try to find it. Maybe it was way over there. Oh, yeah, there it is. I see the ears. I see the stone ears poking up. 
I wonder what kind of secrets are held in this temple. I am curious. Boop! Deagle! That's another one bites the dust. Your slimes and we're singing for you. I just noticed. On in the top. In the top left corner of my screen, I see the day, the time, and a thing next to a number two. I don't know what that means. At all. Oh, so there's nothing around here? I don't think there's anything around here. But there is something on top of there. So I will kinda can I make my way up? Here we go. And uh then, I can wobble my way up there. I'll wobble my way up there too in just a moment. Gotta get my energy recharge and then wobble, wobble, wobble! Wobble your way up! I've wobbled my way to the top! And now, uh, I don't know. Give me goods. Oh, some beats? Alright, heart beats are good. I feel your how wop beat to the beat of the dump. What's over here? I remember. Of what I remember from my first playthrough of this game way back when. I remember being able to like kind of just hover around a bunch and try to get to areas that I thought were not intended for me to get to, hoping to find like some sort of secret, secret thing that I wasn't meant to find. I never really found anything to be perfectly honest, but it was always nice. Okay, so now I've come back for the, I've come back for uh, the water slime. So I'll take that over there and I'll take you back to camp. Oh, another bat! Another boom slime! No, boom slime! Give me boom slime! Yeah! I got a boom slime! What will I do with it now? It also requires meat. The boom slime requires meat. I don't really have a good meat source, so I should create another farm so I can get more chickens. Preferably, you know, I should grab some of the briar hens from back here, actually. Uh, I'll come back for it. I will come back for it. You a briar hen? You're not briar hens. The briar hens were elsewhere. Hello, Tabby Slam. But we'll come back for that eventually. Did I see anything up there? I don't think I explored over here. I'm trying to find more secrets within these trees. There's a another briar hen back here. So you know what I'm gonna do? I've seen puddle plorts before. I can get more puddle plorts, but I will grab you, briar hen. And you as well, you briar hen? Yes, you are. It's a feed because it's the favorite snack of our boom slimes. What else is over here? Oh, this is big old mushroom. And a crate? What do we got in the crate? Is it worth opening? Ah, Q berry. Not, not, not too bad. Some pogo fruits. There's other things over here, which I'm pretty sure I've been to. Oh, what is going on over there? Ooh, dangerous. Oh, don't explode on me. Damn it. Oh, oh, I see. I see honey slimes over there. Oh, okay. So I can get more... I can get more boom port plorts later. I'll go down and grab... Oh, they were already sucked up. No, I see you down there. I see you down there. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give honey slime! And another honey slime! Awesome! Yeah, awesome! And another one of these boxes. Give me a box. Explode box. Pow! More stuff and poker fruits and stuff. Oh, and um, mint mangoes I don't have yet. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to come back here. I need a reference for where I am, actually. So let me open up the map. I am up in this area. That's where I want to come back to. And if I can find the rads... Actually, you know what? I probably shouldn't go looking for the rad slimes just yet. More boom slimes, though. I'll take one of those. I'll take two of those. I'll take three of those. Absolutely, boom slime. Liking that. And you are... You're not a honey slime just hanging in the water. You're boom slime. Whoopsie. Hello. Oh, you just, you ate. Did I get you? I guess I did. Oh, another puddle slime? Sweet. I got two. Whoa, hi there, Boomy and Big Boom Boom Face. More briar hens. More water slimes. Awesome. I'll take another one of you. This is a good, good adventure and pretty good haul. Um, more boom slimes. Perfect. And more you guys. You more briar hens? Nope. That's good. Oh, and this should be able to it, transport me somewhere. Cool. Oh, nice. It transports me back here. Perfect. This is exactly where I wanted to go. Awesome. Now I can get some more habitats open. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, let's see. I would like to take this farm and move it. Oh, I can't intake those yet. 
Uh, flower hen. Let's make another farm over here. I'll make another coop over here. Coop. Put my briar hens in here. I'll work on the upgrades to those later. I want to put another... I want to put the garden over here where I will now grow the heartbeats. Because I don't want them growing over here anymore. I'd rather than me growing up there. Because I want to put my honey slimes over here so that every... All the peoples can... Oh, is there no... There is a top on that. Yeah, so I can add a little honey enclosure over here. I'd much rather be able to do that. Put the heartbeat in here. Put the rest of the heartbeats. Oop, hello. Put the rest of them in here. Looks like you need some more heartbeats now, don't ya? There we go. I uh, will replace this with another enclosure. Remove demolish plot. Don't need it. Gonna put a corral in there instead. Gonna put that. Okay, so maybe I should wait on that just yet. So honey slimes I will keep in here. And at the very least, I'll put those in there. I think that's probably okay. I need some more plorts, so I want to... Hopefully they'll be okay by the time that I go over here and put the boom slimes in here. They eat meat. Now, I'd rather keep all the meat eaters with each other, but I just... I'm not going to do that this time. Uh, put some more water slimes in there. Just generating all those plorts. My god. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. I love you water slimes. Put you in here. Put you in there. I'm always afraid of losing them. Because I feel like they're going to fly right out of it. And then I'll, they'll be gone. I put my booms in here. A corral and... Uh, and high walls. Because they will boom each other. I don't want them to boom me. Now we'll take the fruits. Fruits of my labor. I'm going to get some of these phosphors. Phosphors! Can I hold 40 now? I think I can hold 40 now, right? Yes, I can. And then one more. There we go. The creme de la 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 creme. Now, honey slimes. So they eat, uh, the boom slimes eat meat. The honey slimes, I think, eat fruit, right? Honey slime eat fruit. With the favorite being the mint mango. I'll collect my plorts from over here. Those, uh, those tabby slimes are not very happy with me right now. They're not very happy at all. They're like, hey, when are you going to feed me? And I'm like, hey, I don't know. Let's see, can I get any more of those? No, you really don't have any plorts for me because I haven't been feeding you. I'll fix that in a moment. After I deposit all these plorts to be able to, I want to add some more protection to my honey plot over there. As well as to the other one as well. Oh, what is that one? What is that one all the way to the right? I have never seen that plort before, but it seems as if I... It says that I have. I don't recognize that plort there. I don't... I don't recognize that. However, it's almost as if I sold one. Maybe I did sell one. Did I forget about it already? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Let's give you guys the space to bounce around. High walls and an air net. Um, let's go over here and check up on the coop. The coop that's been running. There's still only two of y'all in here. Incredible. There's nothing in there. Hmm. Maybe it's because I don't have a rooster in there. Perhaps I need a rooster. Perhaps that's what I gotta do. Grabbing all cube berries. It's funny because they're like strawberries, but they're cubes. That's that's the funny part about it. Who's on the call? Thora or Mochi? Mochi Miles. The last thing I want to do is to make you look bad, but it's still on the list. What's still on the list? Oh, you want some honey slimes, tabby slimes, pops? Blah, 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 blah. Well, okay. Well, I can get two of those for you. Uh, one and two. You eat fruit, so I will obtain the fruit for that. You wanna eat those? You wanna eat that? Here, you you eat one too. That way I have one to sell as well. Do do do. Do 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 do. It's 
we got that. We also need the tabby slimes, meaning I need to give some meat to those guys over there. Um, I mean, I don't need that many. I don't need you all, mostly. You like this, so... Actually, I'll take I'll take three, y'all. You need two tabby plorts, so I will give... Two to y'all. Eat that. Then you leave your plorts. Perfect. Come on in. I collect those two. I make my way over here. I give one two. And I give one two. And then I will take the Q berries over to my phosphorus slimes. I should get my slimes names. Or I guess the collections of my slimes names. Not like individual slimes names. I feel like that's a lot of slimes to be naming. Okay, just take all that, you guys. Nice. Y'all having a good time? You are already bouncing all the way out of there. You're having a good time. Because I don't have a net on there. Do I have a net? I don't have an air net. There we go. There's your air net. Have a good time. Hey, eat this. Mmm. Ports of action. Ports of power. Those are the ports we're looking for. Oh, another key berry. Must have missed that one. Whoops. Hey, it's time to do an exercise. What are we doing? Line jumps. Line jumps are insanely popular today. Look at that. Do do do. Got to make sure I get my micro breaks in. Let's see. Uh, is have my water slimes produced anymore? Oh, I'm working backwards. Oh, y'all don't seem very happy. Do you want some water? Can I, can I put more water on? Oh, did that do anything? Do you like that? No, I don't know why your, I don't know why your faces are red like that. I'm not sure why you're blushing at me. Am I really that attractive? My goodness, I don't think I am. Certainly not the slimes, I don't think. Hmm, I wonder. Hello, hello, Zimzam Zoom. You walked in at just the right moments. I have been commanded to do exercise. So I am doing my exercise. And my exercise has just concluded. Which is lovely. It gets the blood flowing. I love it when the blood gets flowing. It's always a wonderful thing to do. We like to take micro breaks here. We like to take micro breaks. The micro breaks are facilitated by my lovely fiance, who every once in a while comes in here and spams me with them, but I very much appreciate it. Because otherwise, who else is gonna make- if, if the internet won't make me get up and move my body every once in a while, then who the heck will? I need to get some more for you little chickens over here. I need to get, get some more. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome, welcome, welcome! It's party time! And party time means... Party hats. I guess I guess then they aren't considered break micro breaks per se. I mean, if I was micro breaking, I'd be getting up every once in a while and taking a walk around my apartment. You know what? You know what? Whatever. Okay. On the topic of micro breaks, it's time for a micro break. Excuse me, everybody, while I go take a micro break. I'm gonna walk over here to the other side of my apartment. Okay, so now I am at the other side of my apartment. I have taken. I have taken a long walk to the edge of my apartment. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk to the other edge of the apartment. Here I go. Now into my bedroom. Now. Now I'm on the other side of the apartment. And now I'm gonna make my way back. And that's my micro break. I'll just waltz my way back on screen here. And now, uh, yeah. Micro break over. The micro break has now concluded, as well did the exercise break as well. Oh dear, it's time to fix myself then. Why am I so fix myself? Oh well, well, I guess I can adjust the camera angle. So do that a little bit. Make it a little like that. How's that looking with the party hat? Looking okay, yeah? Gonna go back in my chair for a little bit. Oh, and then straighten myself back out again. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Thank you for telling me to- Oh, you know what? Also, I should fix my- I should fill my water up eventually, too. But I haven't run out just yet. That's okay. Gotta remember to stay hydrated, my friends. You gotta remember to stay hydrated, because... You know, hydrate or dihydrate, you know what they say. Oh, mail from Casey? I'll, I'll go read mail from Casey, then. Casey, what you got? Casey, what you got? Star mail. Of course that's what we got. Hi, B. Do you remember when you took me hiking? I- Still didn't know how serious you were about the whole outdoors thing then, and your idea of a hike just about killed me. I showed up in normal clothes and shoes, and you were decked out and had a pack and gear. 
It was a nightmare for me. <laughs> I think it was around the five mile mark when I was drenched in sweat and ready to collapse that I realized our ideas of fun were two very different things. Also, you weren't even out of breath then and still, and I still totally hate you for that, Casey. Oh, it seems like Casey and B. Whoa, did I slam the door behind me? How very rude of me. Casey and B seem to be the kind of folks who encourage each other to go take micro breaks. Oh, and I forgot the... Oh, I forgot the phosphor limes. It's okay, I got 13 more minutes. I can feed them more fruit. There's gotta be more fruit around here. Fruit? Any, any more fruit? I go grab fruit! I go grab fruit and I come back to grab phosphor slimes. Forgot about that. Whoops. Oh, look at that. A bunch of phosphor, fl phosphor slimes who probably just ate all the fruit. Incredible. Oh, look, more phosphor slimes. More vegetables. More vegetables. More hens. Hen hens? Give me the hen hens. I like that. Give me those hen hens. I'll take your plorts too. Plorts good. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, so that's actually, that's exactly why I'm here. I just remembered. I came here for the plorts. So I'm glad you gave it to me. Oh, look at you balancing this little plort on your head. Oh, and it fell off. You're adorable. You're just absolutely adorable. What is this over here? Oh, it's a fruit. Fruits are cool. Fruits are like... Alright. Fruits are like awesome. Pretty awesome, dude. Pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome. Let's see about putting some more hen hens in here. Maybe if I have more hen hens, the more they'll come back. I always feared that in the farm, like the, the coop, that if you didn't have enough chickens in there, then eventually they would just kind of die out. And that was always my fear. And I don't think those fears have been realized or anything like that, but whatever. Yeah, more hen hens. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, come here, you. Do I feed them to the ones who need them, or...? Probably. I should put the pogo fruits with the... Well, you know, um... Let's start getting some ham um, some honey slimes in here. So let's give a... Let's get them a pork collector and an auto feeder. Yeah, let's start giving you pogo fruits. What are you, Your favorites are the mint... Mint melons are their favorites. So that's okay. But let's put some pogo fruits in there. And the hen hens... I need more. Oh, another pogo fruit. Look at that. I'll just... Yeah. Boop. No, that was the wrong one. Oh, well, you don't like that. Yeah, you don't like that. You like pogo fruits. There you go. Take, on, take that. And I can probably go collect some beets up here, too. Are the beets ready? The beets are ready. The beating will continue until morale improves. But Im Im morale can never be at its maximum. So the beating shall continue indefinitely. And of course, by beats, or the act of beating, I mean the beats. The actual beats. Oh, you really haven't been given a beats? I guess I didn't really run out of beats. That's pretty good. Got some more plorts, though. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. I guess to be getting the maximum bang for my buck for these auto plort collectors is to, namely, um, put a slime of two different types in there so that they fill up faster. That's an idea. That's something I'll eventually implement. Put my ports back, and just like that. I feel like... Yeah, I don't need more than four hen hens in there, so I'm just gonna give them all the tabby slimes. So, uh, you're all... Y'all look pretty angry right now, so eat some food. It's feeding time, my kitties! So, uh, enjoy that while you still can. And in the meantime... I don't know why I have these pink slimes. Here, more pink slimes. Wonderful. Where'd you come from? Hey, hey, where'd you come from? I see you popping around like that. That's cool and all, but you gotta watch yourself. Huh. Cause some problems? You all coming out of here? Nah, you can join your friends. There you go. Join your friends in there. Have a good time. There you go. Now you've joined your friends. Y'all are exploding and woding and... How'd you get in the corner? Yeah, you probably blew up the top there, didn't you? That's why I gotta watch y'all. So, is there another upgrade that I can give for this to make y'all, like, not be so active? Music ball plays a soothing town that greatly reduces slime agitation. That could be pretty good. So wish they wouldn't do anything. Look, collect the auto feeder and a music box. Y'all seem like you could use a music box. So, be happy. Are you smiling? You're not really smiling. You look like you're hungry. So, let me go fix that for you. I have two plots. Uh, I have two coops right now. So, the two coops... Should be able to facilitate more meat coming in, I hope. I'll check on the briar hen plot and see if that's got any progress. There's no beets over here. 
And there's still just two briar hens here. So, well, I guess you need a briar hen and a briar roostro, I guess? I'll go searching for that. I will go off onto the searchies. Oh, actually, before I do that, though, I will grab... I'll grab another plort to take with me. I want to grab plorts to put into that temple. So hopefully I can snag a, a plort. Can I grab a plort? A plort for a poor sinner. Some carrots. The pink one I already got. That was already there when I got there. Let me give these fruits. Your pogo fruit to eat. Eat it. And give me your plort. I only need one. All I need is one full plort. So y'all can have a fun time after that. I'll carry these around with me in case anybody... Oh, the rock slime. I can give the rock slime some. And that'll give me a rock slime plort. Which is good. Uh, boom slime. I'll prepare myself. Actually, the boom slime I had already put in the temple area. What I'm doing right now is there is an area um, that I just found found. It's like a temple area. And if you put if you put uh it looks like when you put a certain amount of the slimes in there, the actual plorts, if you put all the plorts in there, you get some good stuff. Eat this please. Eat that. Thank you, I'll take your plate. Thank you. No, no. Nope. Give to me. Thank you. Thank you for your patronage. So it looks like, yeah, if you give one of a certain number of plorts, you will be able to open up the door to the temple. And at least from a previous conversation I had with somebody off stream was that the temple is like apparently like one of the final areas to go to. I don't know if that's exactly true or not, but I look forward to seeing what else I can find inside of it. Like more slimes, perhaps, or perhaps there's a certain type of slime on the inside. Uh, I don't have meat right now, but that's not really a problem. That's fine. I don't need tabby slimes. Not in particular. Head on through this way. Making my way back to the moss blankets. Stop that. Don't speak. Chill out. Chill out. Don't bother me. We're all just trying to slime together here. You slimes are all doing your slime thing, and I'm just profiting on it. So... We can all be happy about that. I can be happy about that. I think we're all happy about that. I'm very happy about that. Let's see. Up here. And again, and again, and again, 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 again. Moving up on the... Down we go. Hi, Boomers. Okay, Boomer. What's up, Boom Booms? How you doing, Boom Booms? Now I gotta see if I can find me some... Like a... Like a briar hen, I guess. And I wanna bring back the mint melons with me. Oh, definitely gotta bring back the mint melons. Can't forget about the melons. Um, did I get a... Um, I don't know if that requires... Oh, I got the rock plort. Good, I did. I gotta remind myself what other plorts I need for this then. So I'll go to the temple to find out. Duh. Some more stuff over here. And I think it was past... Somewhere... Not, not past the temple. I think it's somewhere over there. I found the mint melons. So those will probably help me. They'll be good for our new honey slimes. Oh, you know? Okay. Rock plort first. Then I'll come back with a honey plort. To accomplish those. And then the only things that'll be remaining... Honey, rock, that... And then it'll be the quant... Uh, the... The, uh, rad, the rad... Rad slime. So the rad plort will be the one left missing after that. Boop! Yeah, all right. Everybody singing their songs. So I'll go find the honey plort. And I think if I continue off in that direction, I will eventually find a rad slime. And if that's the case, I will snake my way back this way to find more. So you must be a... Are you a... No, you're just a regular rooster. You're a briar hen. I guess I just need a regular rooster then. In there. Maybe, if that's how that works. I don't know. Anyway, continuing onwards. Not that way. It was... Continuing which direction? How did I do it before? Which direction did I go before? I went this way. That's the direction I went. Yes, indeed. Most definitely. No? Maybe? Oh. I seem to be rather lost. Which way did I go? I'm ignoring you. I'm- I'm gonna- I'm gonna ignore you. I'm just- I'm just ignoring you. I don't- I don't want anything to do with you. Nope, can't go that way. What about this way? Going this way seems to be a good idea. Yes, this is what I was thinking of before. 
This is where I wanted to be. Look at this big old mushroom. Maybe this is the big old mushroom that I... Oh, look, a cat came out of it. <laughs> nice. I'm looking for... I'm looking for a honey slime, if you can find one. Is that a ball? Is that another ball? It's a yarn ball. Nice. I will send that back towards the entrance. So that I will find it again later. I thought there were honey slimes in this area. Maybe they were. Maybe it's farther out. Perchance it's over in this corridor. There's a bunch of boom slimes. Boom slimes are good. They're eating all each other's plorts. Disgusting. I'll take those. Oh, you popped out of it. Very cute. Take your plort slimes. Oh, there's the melons. No, there are the melons. No, I need that melon. Okay, I need... No. No, I need... There we go, melon. <laughs> oh, mango, not a melon. Excuse me. It's a mango. It's a minty, minty mango. Maybe I'll find something else in here. Oh, you're gonna disappear. What just... Oh, bye-bye. That looks like danger. I thought I saw honey slimes over here before. Pretty sure I did. I guess I lost them. I'm going to do attempt to bridge this gap. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. If I dash and run at the same time. Nice. Able to bridge the gap. Yes. High five. Nice. Love that. What am I going to find over here? What does Hobson have to say for yourself? You ever been in love, Beatrix? Makes you feel all achy inside. Like a day after your soul's been to the gym. That's the best way I can describe it anyway. It also realigns your thinking to something you swear is downright alien. All those things you thought really mattered suddenly don't. Changes you entirely. Can't recommend it enough. Can't recommend love enough. Do you, do you have enough love in your life? You should get some love in your life. You don't got love in your life? Let's give you some love. Love. There you go. I give, I give this love to you. If thou art a person that lacks the love, his love. Or metaphorically speaking, I cannot, I, can, I cannot give forth the love, so to speak, from behind this camera. That's a, that's a little, maybe a little much, you know? It's too late for that. Or perhaps it's just the right hour for that. There are a lot of boom slimes over here. I'll admit, definitely a shocking amount of boom slimes in this particular neck of the woods. But what about others? There's more things to find. I don't think I've been this far. I have not been this far yet. I didn't even think I was this far yet in previous playthroughs. Oh, what's down here? Hello, you. You're a pink boom, Largo. You, oh, you're dead. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, then. <laughs> you're in the water now. Didn't mean for that to happen. It's just nature's way of... Um... Reducing the population density. Population control of slimes. There's too many big slimes around here. They'll wind up pushing themselves into the water. Yeah, that's how that works. That's my way up here. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, definitely was not. This is definitely a completely new area for me. I have never been over here. This is so cute. I can see more. Oh, wait, I'm up here now. Okay. I am seeing the world from a whole new different perspective. So what will I be able to find up here except for more treasure pods that I can't open? Perhaps I'll find more friends along the way. Oh, what is... Oh, I see a honey slime, so I wanted to find one of those anyway, so I'm gonna go over here. Whatever the heck is going on over there. Oh, was there not? Oh, I thought I saw a honey slime. What is this? Oh, it's the map! I see! Okay. I didn't know that existed. Cool! I found out something new. Found out something useful and convenient. And I thought I saw a honey slime down here. I was incorrect. Oh well. Perhaps I can make my way back over here on top. Can I do that? Probably if I had enough energy. Yeah, I think I can do that. I think I can make it back up on top. 
There we go. Nice and easy. So I have been in this area. It's just the way that I came up was new to me before. This was new over here. Aha! Uh -huh. Where are my honey slides at, though? I want to find me some honey slides. Oh, what is, what is this? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Oh, this is new. Okay, this is the new part. Anybody down there? Hello? Anybody down there? Anybody feeling sticky, I guess? Like, how else would a honey slime feel except sticky, I guess, right? Because honey's kind of sticky. Anyway. I have not gone up through this way yet. I mean, how would you feel? As a slime, I wonder. I wouldn't really know. Are you a... Just a rooster? Cute. Oh no, I have been over here before. I have. This is not the direction I was headed before. There are honey slimes in this area. Oh wait, you just ate something, didn't you? Which means you have a plort for me. Plort, plort for me? Oh, you ate it all, didn't you? Yep, you ate all the honey plorts. Incredible! Here, eat this. Eat that, and then I want your plort. May I have your plort? Thank you! I have finally claimed for myself the golden plort, as so to speak. I mean, it's not the golden plort. Clearly, there are actual plorts of gold. I saw the slime, and I blanked. I was not able to... I was not able to cope quickly enough with just such majesty in front of me. The most golden of slimes standing me right in the face, you know, I'm just like... <gasps> It's so beautiful! And then it just went away. It was like, oh, okay, well. Didn't know what to do about it. Oh, well. And I guess, come to think of it, I guess the tar don't last very long because they come over here and they just get dropped in the water. So, no harm, no foul, right? Got that. I want to see if I can find some more things in this direction. That could have been death there if I was out of energy. I highly advise you have a jetpack and a few upgrades before tackling what's ahead. The land is all broken and twisted. There's plenty of feral slimes about who you won't see coming before they blast you right into the sea. Keep those peepers peeled. I'll keep my peepers peeled then, so to speak. Okay. But what kind of promise awaits us on the other side of these canyons? Oh, you are... Oh, you're hidden. Oh my god. You're actually hidden. I see you there. Oh my god, you're like... Honey Hunter. Oh, they're Hunter Slimes. I, I want to... Okay, well, I'm out of water now. So maybe I should have been being a little more careful about that. <laughs> Am I safe right here? I feel like I'm safer right here. Do you, do you drop Hunter Plorts, perhaps? Oh, there's another Mint Melon over there. Okay. Oh, you just... Yeah, you totally just dropped the thing. Oh, that's the that's the plort that was on the on the little thing of Bob before I got distracted and it went away. No. I want that melon. Give me the melon. Nope, not the pogo fruit. The melon. Melon. Nope, I want the melon. No, no. Melon? 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 I thought I had a melon. Oh, there was just... There's the melon! Mango. I mean, it's a mango, for God's sakes. Why do I keep calling it a melon? It's the alliteration that gets me. I'm just like, mint melon? No, mint mango. Okay, it's a different type of alliteration. It's a different type of alliteration. It's a completely different word entirely, actually. Whoa! Hi there, you all are having seemingly a wonderful wonderful time over there and i think that's great but i'm actually gonna go over here to be fair um take some of your plorts if i may if i may may i Woo! feral slime is not fun you look happy actually you're a very happy looking slime oh that's nice but you're still terrifying me so i'm gonna keep on going well if these plorts over there then there must be some nearby right hiding in the shadows hollywood superstar shia labeouf whoa is that you Incredible. Well, so long, Hollywood superstar Shia LaBeouf. I have other things to attend to. So, peace out. Whoa, there's more of them. All right. Okay, okay. Is there nothing else for me to do? Oh, I can do this. Ooh! Yes. Oh, there's more of you. 
Of course there is. But are there new ones? I want to find new types of slimes to bring home with me. Something in here, perhaps. This feels like a boss area. If there Are there bosses in this game? I don't think there are. But this feels like this is where one would be. And there's something with the little turtle here. Maybe you need to be watered. Do you need to be watered, little turtle? Do you need watered? I don't know why I thought you could just be watered. I am unso I am not so sure. Something inside me spoke. Um... So, are there any, like, hunter slimes on their own? Oh, hello. This is... This is very quaint. This is very quaint. What to find over here? More fruits? That seems appropriate. Where am I on the map? I am... Up. Almost to the top. That's pretty cool. This is all... This is all new to me. Wow, it's kind of it's very it's very relaxing. Pink slime, get get get. There's just pink slimes over here, so I was trying to see if I could find maybe a rad slime over here because I thought in a previous playthrough I found rad slimes in this area. New upgrade kit available, wonderful. But I suppose I was incorrect about that. It just seems very pink over here. Maybe there's more beyond. I haven't been down here yet. What's in there? What are you? What are- oh, you're a treasure pod, and it's locked, because treasure pods are locked. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Why wouldn't the treasure pod- why would the treasure pod be unlocked? Ha! <laughs> I do not know how to open this. I am very lost on that. There's another treasure pod over there. Well, when I do finally have the ability to unlock the treasure pods, I will be able to find all the treasures left behind to me from Mr. Hobson, I believe is the name of the gentleman. Zoop! I'm gonna go over here and see what else lies beyond. The moon is a moon. Damn, that's a big looking moon. The sky is absolutely mooning me, and I'm totally fine with it. Oh, there's a little thing over here. What more secrets can we find over here? Anything? Nope, not really. Just kind of. It's just kind of pleasant. There's a little aurora in the sky. The moon is kind of staring down at us. kind of nice, actually. Nice and relaxing. And the whole concept of exploration as well. I've always liked the games that kind of just lay it all out there for you, but just let you figure it out. And nothing that requires, like, you know, too, too much of the gears turning. I can only rack my brain around enough, uh, only if for so long, for a puzzle that has no conceivable solution. That's eventually where I call it quits. Oh, okay, I'm above the area from before, but now I'm up on top of... I'm up on top. Yeah, I'm up on top. That's where I am. I'm at a higher surface than before. I'm on top of the rocks as opposed to below the rocks. Does this open up any more possibilities for me? I don't know. I see more things over there. I've already crossed this area, so I was over there, I thought. But let's do it again. Perhaps I shall find more. Things that are more exciting. Like phosphor slimes? Nah, it's not exciting enough. That's a certain level of excitement that I do enjoy. But that's not enough. I see that down there. That looks exciting. At the very least, exhilarating as I... Oh, wait, no, 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 I was already there. I've already been in this area. I recognize that. Oh, well... Whatever. I'll go over there anyway. Did I make it? I made it on top of the tree. That's pretty cool. Nice. Out of energy, but not out of spirits. Everybody popping in the water over here. Hello, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. I'm going back from whence I came so I can put this honey plort where it needs to be. Uh, this was the area where we talked about love. I came up through this way, and then I never took a look around the corner. What could be around the corner? I don't... I fear going into the water. I will... I will not for now. I will just allow things to happen. I'll go back this way. Somebody just popped up behind me. Bidoop. Aw. Cute little phosphor slimes. Okay, so now... Oh, wait a minute. Was it this treacherous a jump the first time? 
Was it always that treacherous? I don't recall it being that treacherous. I have to find a way out of here. I'm gonna go back this way. I don't recall it being that treacherous, so... I know I went over that one area from before, and that has a teleporter, so I will... That's where I want to go. New mail from Casey. Can't wait to read it when I get back. Tar slimes. Yeah. Collect some more boot ports. Oh, I missed it. I definitely missed that boot port. It's okay. It's okay. I go back down here. I don't think I ever went over here. Oh, no, no, I did. This is where I was before. I'm kind of going around in circles now. That's okay. Circles are fine. Circles are very, very fine. You know, in the concept of circles, I really don't have anything on the concept of circles. What to talk about? What to talk about circles? The perfectness of a perimeter of a circle. The circle's circumference. Considering the magic of pi. I don't know many digits of pi. Though, I mean, I know, I know like a handful, handful of digits of pi. 3.141592. 6-1 maybe? 6-1 might be the one that comes after that? Maybe? What's over here? Hey, y'all. Why are you eating each other like that? That's not necessary. Y'all don't need to eat each other. Just be nice to each other. Consider the perfectness of a circle for a moment, and then consider how it might affect your life. Oh, wait. That's where I wanted to be, right? That's where I wanted to be? I don't know. Did I? I don't think I ever... No, no, no. I did. I did go to that area with the, with the H sign on it. Hi, everybody. I'm gonna come down there and probably not get hurt. Maybe. There's a lot of water. I got water. 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 Explosion. Yeah, see? There's no need to fear. Hydration is here. Whoop, hi there. No need to fear. Hydration is here. Ha-ha! That's all we need. It's unfortunate. I don't exactly know what's going on currently, but my I watch my stream over on this screen over here, and the Chrome tab just keeps on crashing, and I do not know why. There is nothing running on that computer except for Google Chrome. So, I do not know why that would be doing that. Hi, everybody. You seem angry. <laughs> That's okay. Ignore me. I'm of no consequence to you. Is this... Is this my way back? I... I think this may oh i see a little thing in the top right is this new this hello the blast blanket may seem like an ancient jungle of sorts but the fact is that much of what you see here wasn't even around when i first began exploring this land at this rate i reckon that it won't be long before this greenery completely overtakes the far far range and google chrome just closed on me that's incredible well where's my chat now i cannot see it why would you do that to me yeah you can restore my google chrome what are you doing google chrome I think it needed an update and just decided to force an update on me. Like, all right, all right, Chrome, I'll let you have it this time, this one time. You win this time, Google. Google, don't, don't, don't talk to me. I have a Google phone, so sometimes it'll respond to me saying Google or anything, anything that sounds like, hey, Google. And it'll be like, what do you want? And I'm like, I want nothing. I want for not, Google, I don't need you. I do not need you. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Huh. Well, Chrome has decided to shit itself completely. That's incredible. I guess this 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 computer over here just needs a restart for the night. I don't know what's going on with it. I'll just shut that off and turn it back on again. No problem. That's the monitoring computer. That's the one that I look over for ease of anything whether it be mod stuff or chat related or anything of the sort i use my surface go my surface go from microsoft to do that it's got a touch screen but i don't use the touch screen really i, I don't really use it oh hello oh you're, you're not you're just in this line you have no consequence to me i fan my way back over here i don't know where i've been where am i is this new I can't even tell. This moss blank is... Whoa! Bo oh, no. I have been here. Ah! I recall that little cove right there. That little alcove? I recall that. I've been here before. 
how to find where's my way back to the temple i need to go back to the temple yeah was it this i don't think it was this way the other way maybe that was the beginning area that i was at Ooh. i am caught in a maze i am on a bit of an exploration trip here i am caught in this maze that is the moss blanket this is looks new maybe it's not i i genuinely don't know feels new it gives me that new feeling oh that definitely not somewhere that i have seen before oh hello oh these stairs don't look no oh this is from whence i came uh, okay this is from whence i came so if i go back into here and i make my way this way and i go this direction i'll find my way to the temple yep this is the way to the temple there we go this is what i wanted this is what i wanted there we go this is where i wanted to go and i finally got my chrome back up and running again there we go i came here to give a honey plort right here Boop. and now i believe I just need the rad... Yep, I just need the rad plort, which means I need to find the rad slimes, and that's the only thing I got left. And then I'll come back to here and explore the temple, I guess, where I will find... I don't know what I'll find, but I'll find something, I assure you, I'll find something. Uh, no, let's get out of here. Let's go this way. Oh, that's not the way I want to go. Definitely not the way I want to go. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go down. Nope, not the... Mm. Mm, was this the right way to go? I, yes, it was. Because I saw that Q berry, and that marked my exit. And then I go back this way, and I will be able to make my way back. Ah, lovely. Methinks I figured it out. I wish I could have grabbed me a hunter slime. Oh, I have this yarn ball now. Interesting. I am so... I can't believe how lost I am. Air drive! Wonderful! I air drive my clothes sometimes too! Oh, dri drive, drive, air drive. Like, a drive for the air. I get that now. I, I understand that now. I was mistaken. Maybe this way. You seem happy. Yes, this is the way towards the teleporter. We've got some mint melons. That's good. Got some more honey slimes. That's good. Um, boom, phosphor slime. That's cool. Never seen one of those before. Oh, and I'm back over here again. I'm lost. How am I doing? I'm lost. I don't know. I want to get back. I keep having trouble getting my fight my way back. I'm trying my best just over here. I cannot seem to find my way back to the farm. I could be using a map, but I have this yarn ball in my hand. And I want to keep this yarn ball. I think this is the way I'm supposed to be going. However, I could be very wrong about that. Also, my eyes are starting to get a little bit dreary, so I think I'll do a little bit more maintenance at my slime ranch and then perhaps call it for the night. That might be a good place to do that. How did I get lost? I just kept running and going and going. And uh, now I'm here. This is the area I'm not supposed to be lost at. Um, I'm supposed to go up this way, and then I think fly, 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 fly. Okay, now I can make my way back up. This is the way towards home, right? This is the way towards home. Yep, yup, yup. Yes, 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 yes. This is the way towards home. Maybe. Yes, this is the way towards home. Woo! Ah, oh, yes, I finally found my way back. Now I'm back over here. And I've got a yarn ball to prove it. A token of my journeys. A yarn ball. I'm gonna throw this into one of the slimes. And they'll probably enjoy it. Maybe. That or they'll just kind of hang around it haphazardly, poking it around every once in a while to cause trouble for the other slimes. But uh, that's, that's life, right? Harassing your neighbors? I can finally go back. I can finally go back. I Wait, where'd my ball go? No, where'd my ball go? 
My oh, my bear disappeared. No. Oh. I missed the ball. Wait, what if I go back? Can I grab my ball again? Ball. Then I got my ball back. It's okay because I got my ball back. Crisis averted. The ball has been obtained. And I am now happy again. No need to fret. No need to panic. The yarn ball is back upon us. That's good. Oh, I bet. I wonder if that little symbol in the top right... Excuse me. Is my pioneer rank level. I guess. How did you find the rad slimes? I have no idea where to find the rad slimes then. I'll get to them eventually. I will get it eventually. The sounds of my gun thing, I don't really know what you call it, is like, it's gonna put me to sleep, it's like... Incredible. Who gets the ball? Oh, who will get the ball? Who deserves the ball? You deserve the ball. Take the ball. You've been good. Now I need another farm so I can uh, harvest my mint mangoes. Concern for ball. I missed, I thought I lost my ball. I was in panic mode. I was in panic mode because I lost my ball. Oh, what the? Hmm, interesting. A phosphor slime goo came out of nowhere. How are you slimes doing? You alright? Have you come out of your cage yet? You're doing fine. You're doing just fine. Let's make a plot for a garden and make some mint mangoes. Now we're growing mint mangoes. And you know who likes mint mangoes? The amber or honey, mm, honey slimes. They look so cute. The puddle slimes are so cute. They've got their little, they're like blushing. They're like, ah, oh, we feel so good. They're like, they're relaxing in the hot water. They're like, I love this. This is good. We like this. Oh, you know what? What am I doing? Just, just eat it. Eat it. Eat those. Eat and enjoy. Drink and be merry. Drink and be merry. Eat, eat the fruits. Why aren't you eating the fruits? Why are you not eating the fruits? Okay, you eat the fruit eventually. Got plenty of beets in there. So they they haven't eaten yet. Let's take some of these out. Don't need all of it. I only need some of it. Rock floor, rock floor, rock floor, rock floors. Floors of the rock, cause we like to rock. I got ten of those. Sweet. I got the hunter floors too. I feel. Okay, so I haven't actually found any hunter slimes yet, but I want to still be able to get hunter floors. So I'm gonna give them to these pink slimes after I take care of some of this stuff over here. I don't need the boom plorts. I don't need the honey plorts. Put those back in. Put some of those in there. Boom plorts. Rock plorts. Give me all your plorts. Maybe two hunters plorts. They're worth 89. That's really good. That's really good. So I will... I'm gonna... Here we go. I'm gonna take all these slimes. Take all these pink slimes and I'm going to redistribute you guys are gonna be part hunter slime now only some of you though so there don't need to be a lot of you but like uh maybe one two three four there's like five of them cool eat 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 transform eat transform So now what I want to do is I want to give them music box because that will soothe them. Ouch. Not not fun. Not fun. Owie. Not fun. Stop hurting me. Why you gotta be so rude? Why gotta you be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? There we go. Now we got three of them. And um... Hopefully... Hopefully they're okay. I've got music to calm you guys down. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Nope, they've officially made their way out. That is unfortunate. That didn't work. Perhaps only one is the answer. Nope, please. 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 Just, just... Carry me. Wait. Okay. 
Yeah, you can bite me. Bite me all you wanna. It's fine. No, get back in there. Let it regenerate. You're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. You're fine. Do you want food? I can give you food. Let me give you some berries. Maybe if you're fed, you'll be okay. And not want to kill everybody. That, that's probably a good idea. You like some cute berries? Your diet is everything. Diet eating is everything. Oh, you found your way out of the house. No, no, no. Come here. Nope. Nope. I wouldn't if I were you. Back in here. No, I don't want that blurt. Oh, well. Eat. Eat and be merry. Are you, are you happy? Yes, you're happy when you're fed. If you're not fed, you're angry. So you need to keep... You need to be nice and kept. If you're not nice and kept, you are nice and angry. Holy crap. So, uh... Alrighty then, I will make sure to take care of y'all. I will hopefully be able to take care of... Oh god. The pressure is on. I'll just give my... Take him. Just take the Q berries. I don't. I don't even care anymore. Just take all the Q berries. I don't, I don't need it. Uh, let's give you the sprinklers. Sprinkler and nutrient soil, so you grow faster. Um. Do y'all actually have? There's still just the four of y'all. I don't get it. Y'all aren't growing. What about the the briar hens? Are they all growing? Are y'all? It's just the two. Okay, I think it's because you need the roostro. I think that has to be it. You need the roostro. If you don't have the roostro, it ain't gonna work. I don't need your pink slimes anymore, so... Sayonara! You will be missed. You were, there, you were here for a while. You're some of my favorite slimes. I can't sell water. What am I doing? You were some of my favorite slimes. You were there since the very beginning. That you were. You are such strong slimes! I'll miss you, but I thank you for your service. So I'm gonna go get some roostros. Come on back to make sure that the hens and the rooster, like, to make sure that I actually get things. Because I want to, I want them to breed. I want them to breed so I have more meat. If I don't have any roostros, that's, that's not, that's not how sexual reproduction works. You need, you need the guy, you need the guy and the girl. At least in the, in the ranching area of things. As far as ranching is concerned, you need a dude and you need a gal to make things work. Oh, we all are eating all my friends. Oh, there's a there's a hot one. Come here, you big guy. Yeah, I got a chicken doo too. Now I need another one. I don't need you, chicken doo. And those stone hens would be cool too. If I, I'll, I'll get some stone hens as well, and then hopefully they'll be a rooster over here. Maybe uh, any stone hens? Stone hen? Stone? You, you, come here, come here. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. And I'll just, I'll just grab these guys. Might as well grab a bunch of them. Might as well grab a bunch of them. Hello. Goodbye. Might as well grab a bunch of them. Mmm. -mm. Tasty. Tasty, tasty meats. And this will teleport me back, right? Yeah. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. This isn't... I can't go this way yet. Ah. Uh, okay. This is the dock I can't unlock yet. That's 5,000. I gotta go back to my... Unfortunate. Truly unfortunate. Not very fun at all. That'd be fun fortunate. Fun and fortunate. Fun fortunate. Like unfortunate and fun. Same thing. It's a dichotomy of positive and negative. And sometimes that's okay. Other times, hey, not so much. Not so much. It really depends. Now I got pink slime. Nice. Pink slime. Edible. Now find it at your local McDonald's. Maybe. Yuck. You know what? I never went this way. This was where I find the rad slimes through this cave and out the other side. I remember now. I remember now. This is where I needed to go. Yes. I recall now. This is where I found them the first time. But I don't got a key. I need to find another Largo to get another key. Oh, unfortunate. All right. All right. Got to find me some more Largos. I haven't found any Largos recently. Unfortunate. I'll find more. I'm sure I'll find more. Give me your plorts. Too many plorts. Too many plorts. Yeah, I think, you know what? This is probably a really, really good stopping place. 
I'll go back to the farm. I'll add some roostros to the pens. Add some food left from the slimes. And then the next time we get back into this, we're going to go exploring some more. Exploring some more in and trying to find more keys to be able to progress farther into the far, far range. And also to be on the lookout for rad slimes so that, you know, we're all, we're all happy campers. So that we can get into the, um, get into the... Oh, what do you call it? It's the temple. The temple. I've said the temple word so many times that I've forgotten how to do it. That's fine. And I'd rather have two rooster hens over here. Because that way, maybe y'all are reproduced faster? Maybe? I don't know exactly how that's supposed to work. Provide some hen hens for my pals. Uh, what's more... I just want to make sure these cats over here are not so... Uh, expectant. I mean, that and also the, the boom slimes as well. I'll do the boom slimes, actually. Very few of you guys. I hear your heart beat to the beat of the beat. Oh, what a beat, beat, a beat, 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 beat. Oh, I need you. And now that the tank booster upgrade is actually available, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go grab that. That'll be good. Always nice to be able to carry more things around. Tank booster, up to 50? Perfect. What is air drive? Enhanced jetpack processors consume 20% less energy, but produce double the fun. I like that, and I like that. So cool. Awesome. Upgrades ahoy. Let's go over here. Go inside. Hen hens, y'all like food? Y'all want food? Eat food. Eat food. Get some uh, phosphor slimes. Phosphor plorts. As well as... All right, y'all have any plorts for me? That's okay. Y'all are just kind of chilling. Maybe if you're red-faced, that means that you're out? Let me check the Slimepedia. Maybe this is something that you can tell me. Puddle slimes are a rare species of slime that live in freshwater pools found on the range. These slimes don't eat fruits, vegetables, veggies, or meat like most other slimes. Instead, puddle slimes absorb water into their bodies while they sit on the surface of a pool. Puddle slimes need fresh water to survive and will quickly evaporate if left on any other surface for too long. Puddle slimes aren't risky to manage. They just require a fair bit of maintenance. A rancher needs a pool of fresh water like a pond available for a pond slime and its plorts to sit in as they will evaporate if away from water. Finally, puddle slimes are exceptionally shy and will not produce plorts if they are close in proximity to more than three other slimes. Oh, overall, Puddle Slime is a better fit for a more experienced rancher, not one still let, wet behind the ears. Oh, okay. You're shy. Aw, okay. So let me grab y'all. Then you won't be as... Yeah, now you're, not as sli now you're not as shy. That's cute. Okay, I'll just put another thing over here. No problem. I actually didn't realize that. Now I know. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Now you're fine now. You're doing just fine. Collect some of these plorts. I'll collect some of these mid mangoes because the eh, the uh, the 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 the, 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 the lulas, they like those. What do you call them? Honey slimes. I keep calling wanting to call them amber slimes for some reason, and I'm not exactly sure why. More thrust. More thrust. Needs more thrust. I don't know why they call them. I mean, they're amber in color, so honey is often an amber-like color to them. It just it just makes sense. Do do do. More manga slimes. Yum. Oh, you guys have run out of food, haven't you? You run out of fuse? You got some more Q berries in there. You're fine. You're fine. You're super fine. There's no need to worry about that. Oh, let's. Oh, I need to collect your. Okay. Let's add a plurt collector for y'all. Plurt collector? Plurt collector. There we go. Let's let's collect your plorts. You are causing damage. Don't cause so much damage. I'll have to discipline you. Don't ask me how I'm gonna do it. I don't really know. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But I'll teach you all a lesson. By playing smooth jazz. Oh, you like that? Country music. Ah, there we go. Now you know the suffering. JK, country music is something that's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, um, it's an acquired taste to me, but some country music is A-OK. -okay. <laughs> what a haul. What a nice haul. I like that. And I just want to give those hunter slimes something else to hold them over, like some beats if I've got them available. 
Not yet, so y'all will just have to wait a little bit. You'll be fine. I'll sell off these plorts as well. Uh, there's three here. There's, uh, click, click the button. There was one more. Okay, then. That's fine. Take some of those. Oh, can I? Please? Thank you. Thank you, plorts. Grab some from the honey slimes. We got 40 of them. Sweet. That worked out wonderfully. And are there more for the rock slimes? I'll sell all these plorts and that'll, that'll be where I leave it. Okay. Got some 10 from over here. Perfect. Thank you, slimes. Thank you all very much. Oh, there's some more. Do another one. Actually, um, are you suggesting any, are you requesting any slimes? Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Ah, uh, well, actually. Honey plort, tabby plort, and then I can give you some slimes. I got plenty of tabby slimes in there, and I can always get some more, so I'll give them to you. I'll hand them on over. But after, I deposit all these plorts. Ooh, the honey plorts were worth 70. This is the right time to buy, or the right time to sell. Yeah, look at that. Still not enough for the lab, but I've got enough for the dock. Come here, y'all. I need seven. Seven lucky volunteers to be, I don't know, experimented on? I don't really know what they do. I don't know what the, the, this one does. Wonderful. Got me some plorts. Got me some beats. I will give the heart the heart beats to y'all. That'll be good. You eat anything. So it's perfect. And then I'll sell the rest of the plorts. Uh, you know what? Buy some upgrades. Might as well have them. I could upgrade, so I did. And then, that'll be that. Awesome. And as the rock plorts are away, I believe that will be it for this evening. So, that being the case, I want to thank everybody so much for coming along and hanging out for a while while you did. If you did, if for any newcomers, welcome. Welcome to the party that we have around here. It can be a little more, depending on the time of the day, it's either a little more exciting, depending on the game we're playing. It's a little more crazy. We've got visitors coming all the time. So, uh, you could be a visitor, too. You could be a party goer as well. Sounds so weird to say. But alas, fine by me. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening, the twilight, the day, whatever you may be doing right now. I hope it is a lovely one. I want to pass on the goodwill to a buddy of mine who I worked closely with on a project one time playing Guilty Gear Strive, a completely different vibe than Str Slime Rancher, but I think it'd be nice to say hello as well. So, again, thanks everybody so much. To the Raiders, peace out to y'all. The party continues all the time. And to everybody else, wonderful twilight, evening, dawn, whatever may have you. I hope it's a wonderful one. So... Have a wonderful everything, everybody. Party on. Until next time. Bye, y'all.